Uh, should I do this? Mm. Mm. I agree. You're a agree. homosexual coot. Fuck you. Homosexual. <laughs> Ben Thorpe! <laughs> Ethan! What's going on, man? Nigga, I think Yo. I gotta come to Mexico. Is that Ralph? You gotta come to Mexico? Yeah, you might need to, actually. I, I, my Pretty much my entire life has been destroyed because I have a normal relationship with my daughter, which crazies on the internet think, and the police also think, I should be deprived of all my rights in order to live out. Isn't that crazy? That does sound pretty crazy. I, I just want to ask you a couple things because you absolutely, know, I, 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 I had different reports. You know, at first I was told that somebody watching the stream called the police, and then somebody tried to tell me it was Grace, which I found that hard to believe. Um, who actually no. reported you? Like, what happened? It was basically like whether it was actually Grace's mother, it was her or her agents. Watching the stream. Yeah, I saw a little bit of the uh, back and forth and text messaging between Grace and, and her mother. Yeah, so. I mean, right. So whatever. I mean, that, that's what it's been now for five years because her mother won't admit that she's uh, uh, lacks maturity. She's inspired by the devil to do demonic things. I mean, you could probably find out who calls. Like, there's probably a Freedom of Information Act. Because I don't think Courtney called. I'm just saying. Well, again, it doesn't I, matter with. I just want to clarify whether it was Grace or not. Yeah, I mean, it could have been anybody, but yeah, it could have been her doing something, putting somebody up to it. I, I don't know. I just it want certainly to clarify. It, was, yeah. it certainly wasn't Grace. Yeah, I didn't think so. Honestly, that didn't really make sense to me. But if Grace had called the police, I don't think I would have. You know, it, it would, I mean, I, I can't conceive of it, but like that would be actually legitimate. If someone, I actually do think that, you know, if they're well, whatever. There you get into like gray areas. What actually happened makes no sense at all. I don't think makes any sense at all. Because here's what I would say, Ethan. I was thinking about it, you know, and you say to yourself, like, okay, I guess this makes some kind of sense. But if I had played hockey or football uh, or basketball with my adult son and had been rough in playing the sport with him and someone had videotaped it and sent it in, would the police have done what they did no no I not in a million years. i wouldn't think so no um or for example you know the you know this guy sean strickland yes who sparred with nico yes okay if someone i mean there you have like a borderline thing like was he did he punch him too hard i mean at a certain point if Nico lost his life i do think someone should be held responsible for that like because they should have known okay but like Nico got the snot kicked out of him to me I don't think the state has any interest or should have any well, interest. He's to, stupid he to get ranked. Just, just to play devil's... He consented and kept yeah. fighting back, yeah. right? Whereas Grace just gets shell shot. Don't let this guy... Don't like, let this guy... Frozen. This guy... You can't stop me. And shut the fuck up. Can't stop me, bro. Shut up. Shut the fuck no. up. My server now, bitch. Shut up. All right, so... Please, I mean, there is a little bit of a difference there because it's like a consenting activity or, or, or whatever. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So... How is there a difference? I, that's what I would like to explore. Well, it's, it's like a sporting activity that that both you know agreed to participate in, right? Versus you know kicking somebody, right? Um, what about the kick itself? Uh, I saw it, it was kind of a hard kick. I, I ain't gonna lie, but um, handsome crayon sent two dollars on Rumble. But what ben do you stop trying to justify being a daughter basher? Well, I mean, your point of view. It, how do you see it? But it, it would where. I would say it was a shove with a foot technically because a kick is like a, you know, like if you watch kickboxing, it wasn't that type of kick intended to cause violence. It was basically shoving her off the bed because I was sick of her, right? Yeah, I mean, I can I, see I, that there are harder kicks. Like if you kicked her with the toe or you stomped, you know, those would be different. Um, I guess it was the, the red the back a, a little bit that got people's attention on it. Um I mean, was there yeah. any damage or like, what did the police say? Like, I'd, I'd describe it more as a shove of the foot, personally. 
I mean, it was, I mean, if you want to get into it, like, you know, there was like continuous contact. So I was just sort of pushing her away from me, but I was expressing frustration. That's true. And I was expressing it physically. So you could uh, sort of describe it as a defensive push kick to great distance. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I love the for itself. But what I don't understand is who Grace has a relationship with me, which is a combination of a streaming relationship and a personal relationship. Isn't it up to her to determine whether she wants to be part of that relationship? And if it includes aspects of physicality, isn't it up to her if she wants to engage those aspects or not? Well, I saw her say that it was a a prank and and all this uh, when the police were there. And we'll go through it. I haven't went through it just yet on my stream, but I watched it before. Uh, So I did see some of it. Well, sometimes, especially young people, they they try to, like, in a sense, uh, they, they try to, in a sense, like, avoid criminalizing someone else by yeah. using an immature sort of response, right? Well, she was trying to say whatever she could to get the police to not arrest you. I, from experience, I that mean, doesn't work. <laughs> right, uh, like a lot of times, yeah, black guys yeah. who are cops come, they'll go like, hey, no, no we got no, no beef. No, they're there to it, arrest somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not how it works. Well, but, Actually, talking to them is not advisable um, when they're in that mode, but... Uh, Anyway, what what was your yeah? There's a whole issue there. I, I I've gone into the sovereign citizen stuff. Like I, I do think I believe in the authority of the state. I I believe that the state has some authority, but I believe that in the United States of America, and especially in the state of Rhode Island, uh, it has exceeded its actual authority so grievously that I believe that I am basically a uh, a persecuted person, and I'm considering driving down to the consulate of the Russian Federation and begging them for asylum on human rights grounds. Well, if you have a certain amount of money, you could come to Mexico, uh, but I won't get into all those. Uh, but actually, I looked at because in Mexico, there were extradition Hansel McCrayon treaties, sent right? $2 on Rumble. There's ex- Is she yes. a good route, Ben? Yeah, there are, but um, really only for felonies and stuff like that. I, I don't know if it's a felony yeah, it's, charge it's, that you got. No, it's a misdemeanor. Okay. But if I there. don't show up for my court date, now it becomes right something else. Yeah. They so are you out on bail? Is that right? Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm technically out on bail. Yeah. And I heard your bail was ten thousand dollars. Now I know a little something about this, so that means you had to give a thousand dollars. Basically, you don't get that money back, right? Is that how it works in Rhode Island? I didn't pay. I didn't pay anything, and I refused to pay anything, and I told Grace not to pay anything because I'm sick of being uh, shaken down, and if they want to feed me. And I actually felt, I've never felt safer than in prison, in the jail. I've yeah, never felt safer jail. Yeah, that's a bit than, in, than, in, than in jail. So if they want me to spend the rest of my life in jail uh, because I'm a man, well, that's fine with me. Better sex, <laughs> better, <laughs> better food, uh, better uh, exercise situation. Well, I'm all for it. And if they want to, sure, they'll just but, send me to have- uh, What do you mean by better sex? Can you explain that? Yeah, I, I was a little befuddled there, but. Uh, well, uh, Grace's mother sexually tortured me for, and, and continues to engage in a kind of BDSM insanity. Uh, so I think I could be a good spouse to uh, an alpha male in jail. Make It would make way more sense. You'd be a good than- prison bitch, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Would you uh, would you talk to the the cat? Are you actually group? saying okay. that right now? Like I'm not even joking. Yes. Okay. So you're a male, right? You claim to be a male. Is that right? You claim to be a man, and you don't know what the difference is between banter and. James like, Gardner sent ten dollars. You don't know that. Okay. So then you should examine whether you really deserve to take another breath on this earth and act accordingly. Also, I heard that uh, pedophile apologist Brian Dunn is in this call too. He's allegedly provided um, pedophilic sorry, material, pedophilic what? material to his what? father. I've never done that, I Ralph. And I suggest you stop before you get a lawsuit. You ain't gonna do shit, you little fucking piece of trash. Same thing. 
You ain't gonna do shit. I mean, shit. you're the only fucking guy you here that ain't was gonna do on shit, air. Brian. I knew you were there, grader. brother. No, I knew you were there. Why don't you just be quiet while the grown folks are talking? No, I'm, I'm not, bro. Fra- I was, quiet uh, while I was the being grown respectful, folks are talking. I'm not going to be. You're the only oh, guy here mad? that said that you would fuck a 13 year old. I never said that. Dude, your pops got popped for child porn. You play it with your own voice. You said no condom whatsoever. For child porn. Whatsoever. I was I talking have no about when I was 13, you idiots. I actually have my kids. I'm like, you, Ralph, I'm allowed to be around my children. I don't give a children. fuck. I don't care about your kids. Well, you should. You should. No, I you don't. watch what you say. You shouldn't slander people. How are you going to hop on do, a Brian? stream, you a stream me. about Rikeda and you Vito to kill me. and talk about pedophile stuff? Why don't you come down to Mexico and see what you can do? Pedophile. Why don't you come down to Mexico and see what you can do? Come down to Mexico? Yeah. Come down to Mexico and see what you can do. Come down to Mexico and see what you can do. You know, it's a 10-year anniversary of you ruining your entire career, Brian. In Mexico. Just stop with the child porn. <laughs> Just stop with the child porn. I don't have any child pornography. Are you Ralph, sure? Watch yourself, man. I'll Your dad you. had I'll some. I'll sue you. Absolutely. I'll sue you for defamation. Oh, you got I'm any scared. Proof? I'm scared. You should be. Get Look in at line. Brackets. He his you can get in line to sue me, you. fucker. Defamation, you can sir. get in line to sue me, fucker. Okay, I'll get in line. Okay, I'll, we'll I'll get in line. You, okay, we'll sue me. If you continue this is doing me that. telling you to sue me. Do you have it? All right, all right, I want you to say on air. Do you have proof that I've ever done that? I never said yes, you no. I had any proof. There's a lot of speculation. Yeah, yeah, got There's a lot of clips. speculation that you provided your father with child porn. Already about I don't it, give I'm, a I'm, fuck, I'm Brian. Right now. I don't give air. a fuck. Talk to hey, whoever the fuck you want to, loser. Do you have any evidence that I've ever done that? Yes or no? I never said I had any. So you don't have any evidence. So why are you saying it? A lot of people are speculating on that. No, who's a lot of... I don't care about a lot of people. You openly claim to multiple people, claim. including your former co-host. No, no, no. I yes, claim. you did. I have it repeatedly. Okay, Look, we'll bro, do something about it. Okay, we'll do something about it. I already have it. went to the prosecutor's office in Michigan. Oh, I've already I'm so done it, scared. Ralph. That's not against the criminal law, you moron. Yeah, it's defamation. You can't That's just not run criminal law, people, you idiot. That's civil law, you it's fucking okay. moron. All right, all right, Ralph. So, so all right, Ralph. Why don't you learn law. anything you're fucking talking about don't, before don't you run your you goddamn lawsuits. fucking mouth, hey, hey, you when idiot? They serve you. Hey, when they serve you, uh, yeah, when, when they, they serve, serve, you, serve me, I'll wipe my ass with it, fucker. That's what I'll do. I'll wipe my goddamn ass with it. All right. So right, serve me with whatever, whatever the fuck you think you, you can serve me if you can even find me, fucker, okay. which you can't. So suck my fuck. fucking Come dick, me. fucker. Suck me. my Mommy dick. Can't I even understand the difference between I criminal and civil you, civil Pistola. law. You're a moron. Hey, You're Give a moron. You suck tranny dick and there's torta, video baby. of it all over the internet. What about the tranny dick that you suck, Brian? Brian, what about the tranny dick? Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian, what about the tranny dick? I know, I know Ralph Patton. There's videos you, of you sucking you fucking angry. dick, you I fucking moron. Was that AI or was that you choking down a cock, you motherfucker? Yeah, keep it up. 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 Keep sucking dick. Keep sucking dick. There's literal videos of you sucking dick all over the internet. And you oh, won't answer because right. you know it's you. You, you know it's right. you. You suck dick and there's video of it, Brian. You suck dick and there's video of it, Brian. You suck dick. God, what a disgusting fuck. What a dis- Fuck your side note and shove it straight up your ass. Or maybe you can suck on that too, you fucking piece of trash. You sound upset. No, I'm just having fun bullying you. You're you're a moron and mentally broken. I'm not a moron, Ralph. Yes, you are a moron. You don't even know the difference between civil and criminal law. Who you are a away moron. not one relationship, but two you with their own children. You are a moron. I put every father-in-law that they have to death. Not and loses everything and has to go I hide in Mexico to avoid being Brian? served in a motel. There's six video, the video of you death. sucking That's dick. Moron. What about you sucking no dick, video Brian? Of me sucking dick. Yes, there I is. Add that to the defamation claim. There's too, video you, you sucking dick. Play it. Play I'm not it. gonna play it. Play it on your stream right now. You no. have my permission. If it's real, play it. Why if would I play, play a it. video you sucking dick so I, I would just, get banned I just off you my could. platform? Put it on Pornhub. Put it on Pornhub. Pornhub. No, I'm not. It was really disgusting, mean. and I didn't want to see it in the first place. So it's not real then. So stop lying. This is what I mean. You lie all the time. I'm this not is lying. Why you suck dick. 
Brian, you suck all the dick. time. Why don't you just you be know, open with your sexuality? I have my wife and my two children, Ralph. It's Where 2024. Are your Brian, it's 2024. You have no kids Why don't you stop worrying you about other people's available. kids? You're That's what got your father right locked up. You're literally in a motel right now That's in Mexico. That's what got your father They're locked up, Brian. The people who don't care about you. I'm not in Get a motel, you idiot. Yes, you are. You're hiding no, in Mexico. No, I'm not. You've already admitted to it. Come find me in Mexico. I'm not in a motel. I'm hiding. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys. Just ban this faggot. Oh, uh, right. Pesuela, come back to me. I got 200 pesos, baby. One more hour. Just one right. more hour, right. Pesuela. Just please. keep sucking dick right. and Pesuela, procuring please. child porn, allegedly, for your father. <laughs> you, know why, you know why you hate it, Ralph? It's because I've got everything I don't you don't hate have. it. I don't everything hate it. Everything you don't have. I got my kids. You got a dick got in your wife. mouth? You're right. You do career. have that. You do I've have a dick in your mouth. I can mouth. literally turn this off. You have a dick in your mouth. Okay, well, you never do that. Why don't you turn it off then? My life is happy. Why don't you turn it off, Brian? got your Xanax. Why don't you turn it off then, Brian? You got your boots. You got Mexico. Why don't you turn it off then? You can't turn it off. You're physically incapable of turning it off. You can't turn it off. You can't. You can't. Make fun of retards on the internet. You can't turn it off. Stop before you get turned out, Brian. Hold on, Ralph. I'll always be better than you. Hold on, Brian. But you're not. I'm out, Brian. I'm out. Hold on, Brian. Just one, one more. He's so mad. Why is he so angry? Hold on, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Well, you should be mad. Hold on a second. Hold on. Why should I be angry, Ralph? What upsets me? Well, because I just added you sucking dick to everybody watching this stream and other streams. I added you sucking dick. Well, where's the video, Ralph? There's no video of me ever doing something like that. That's just a blatant lie. If Why don't you ask Ferd where it's at? Because uh, right. I've, I've, I've seen it posted. Yeah. Right. Oh, you've right. seen it posted. Okay, Ralph. Yeah, you have I've my permission to prove this. No, you're I'm welcome. Not it up. Don't deep fake it now. Brian, Brian. You're the one who does the deep throating, <laughs> not the deep faking. I don't do any of that. I, I'm sorry. Just shut up, Ralph. Big adults are talking. Just sit back and try to make Fuck a couple dollars. You, I'm sure you're, you're, a you're a loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. I don't need to make more than you in a day. Come on, guys. I don't think so. I do agree with you. What's going on, Ben? Go are, ahead. I do with I do agree with Ethan that you are kind of a loser in my interactions with you, but I'll try and to you be just want to rest it and you fuck your own daughter. Everything you say is a hypocritical <laughs> oath. You okay, claim no, you're a priest no, and you're not. Okay, you don't even know how to spell the Bible. Hey, Brian, what do okay, you mean? Hey, Brian, hey, Brian. You're like the last guy Brian, that could ever Brian, tell me that I'm Brian, a loser. Brian, 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 never. Brian, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen, man. That's the reality. You just admitted that you would be someone's prison bitch and get fucked in prison. What do you Brian? mean? You're a fucking, you're a mess. It's called a joke, Brian. Brian. You're, you're a spurred. Brian. 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 It's, it's called Brian. a joke. Brian. Brian. You're a spurred. Brian. Just one more total, baby. Brian. He's lost Come his mind. Now. Ben, Brian. listen to this guy. Gino Casino won. Hip -hop okay, won, yeah, they hate you too, Brian. Brian. But Brian. I don't Brian. care if they hate me. Brian. This is the internet. Who gives a shit? They're not, I'm not my Brian. wife. I don't have to prove shit to Brian. them. Brian, Brian, Brian. What, Ben? What? Let's, let's engage a little bit. Okay, so what? is it i'm just gonna ask you a question what is it you've been complaining now for like 20 minutes <laughs> i didn't i didn't complain i, no, no, I, didn't, let, I asked let, you to, to reiterate we'll about the jail man. thing we'll and be man. Fucked. we'll be mad yes. right Brian will be man okay so we're getting to the point where it doesn't seem like you're able to have a conversation i'm trying to have a conversation we are? with you i just yeah. okay. what is the point sure if you're gonna scream and yell and we're gonna scream and yell over each other well, no I, I wasn't i wasn't agree? i mean i was just arguing with, with a guy who does that for a living that's all that has it, nothing to do with you. All right, let's let's start <laughs> with the real preliminary here. If we're going to talk, uh, a random then retard claimed okay, that so I have you're out, you're out. Please, uh, with whoever no proof, with evidence, Stop and I tried to address him down in an appropriate manner. Please. Trade and child porn. I you're an actual pedophile, Shaggy. That's another thing. But Brian, I don't know if I have a moderator. But Brian, can I just appeal to you, man to man? I'm happy to let you talk. Oh, it's Sentry Joe's been a cold too. Is that okay? Well, I, I, don't really, I just asked you about the whole prison thing. I wasn't trying to do all this can, stuff. Can we Ralph agree to that? I need a yes or no. Sure, moment. yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Ben. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So here's my problem with how you're conversing. You've spent a good amount of time on my Discord, which I've allowed you to do, complaining that Ethan has been doing what to you that's unfair. Oh, I, Anyone think, want I think you're mis misunderstanding. Anyone Ethan want to Ralph that? just randomly okay. hollered that I'm a pedophile with no evidence. Okay, right. Okay, so so and I address that correctly. Okay, by publicly defaming you. Okay, yeah. is that correct? That's your basic beef correct. with him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, how I would long, say that in a minor multitude of other how things. How long? But I leave it at wait the a minute. Wait a minute. How long did it take you to publicly defame me when I asked, like, I, I asked the both of you to calm down, and I. Said I would. You I didn't would ask me to calm down. You made it. You made a jab, and I responded. 
You said I was a loser, okay, and I reminded you, you of the, some of the okay, faults right, that you have done. Right, right, right. How did you respond? Well, I responded James by Gardner correcting you by you're the loser, by reminding no. you that no, you're the one that's, that's in not jail. True. You're the one that was thrown out you, of your wife's you? house. You're not no, allowed to have sex with your wife. You just admitted you want to get fucked by men, and that you have sex with your own Ryan, we all heard The only loser here is you. I don't have to take advice from a guy like you. Ryan. Ryan, you weaponize the church Ryan, for your fucking generous. Ryan, 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 Ryan. You said something. You said I f my dog. I hurt did your you, feelings. Did you not say that? I'm sorry. What? Did not say that. Did you repeat say it? That? No. You heard what I said. No, I didn't hear it. Repeat that. Okay, so now you know what you said. You defamed. What? You did the exact same thing what you were complaining about Ethan doing to you. Okay, so now we can move beyond that and we can ask ourselves, is that the type of stuff we want to engage in or not? Is it fine as banter or not? My suggestion would be is that we just sort of like move beyond those things and try to act a little more rational on all sides. What do you say to that, Brian? Sure. No, I think that's you okay, can but point I think out pointing me, the finger at the wrong guy who started that argument. Go ahead. You can point out to me things that are true, such as that I... Okay went to jail i have no problem with that i think uh -huh. that's real. but maybe we could hold no, I, think, I think you're misplacing the finger i think you should be pointing at the fat torta eating retard that decided to pipe up dude and you're fatter than me are you kidding by I'm far i'm way thinner than you bro i'm 175 Any pounds dude we saw you you're balding bro, and you're you. disgusting i would literally dude. kill you i'm balding bro well you yeah you are face, bro you're balding. I mean, there's pitch. Okay, pitch yeah, this is going to be right back it's to the up, same thing. Yeah, we're old. We're getting old, Ralph. We're 35 we years old. You're almost that. fucking no four. So who gives a shit about balding? So I'm much balding. Well, I've lost a lot more weight. So you are balding. I'm in the gym. All five dollars on YouTube. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now this is the thing okay. I remember. Wait, you're both with him. Can I? Can I? No, this guy. This guy is. I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do, Ben. I'm going to mute so you can continue your conversation. I apologize. My intention was not to talk to this guy. Alcohol, pill popping, retard, or eating bitch. It was just to talk to you instead of, instead of blipping off. But like, but if you want to do that, cause you're outclassed, that's fine. You can all leave. <laughs> so he's, so he rage quit. Okay, yes, fine. Of course. I, I didn't rage quit. I'm just, I just was letting you speak. Why don't we engage in a conversation instead of hurling insults and defamation and then going like, I'm leaving now. Right. Why can't we just well, I didn't say I was leaving. Who said that? Well, I don't know. You're going to mute I just, yourself. I just got quiet so you could speak. Babe. I actually, I, I was just I listening. Let you know, I, I believe there's something that we can all agree to, like the basic male masculine code, which can include okay. insults. Okay, banter is kind of a locker room atmosphere. Sure. All right. Well, look, I'm going to mute maybe so you can continue agree your conversation to hold, so we can listen. Maybe we could agree to... Excuse me, Ben Gordon. Uh, uh, there is a long-time super chatter of cog. And I don't uh, really... Ask, how much ice cream like, can Shaggy fit in his arm? <laughs> Okay. What the fuck? The question. So, here's 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 what I would like to see if we can get to. Uh, you and Ethan have some beef. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure whether like it's going to be all that productive. It's been but... a mess, Ben. I don't need to talk to him anymore. I wanted to ask okay. you about what's going yeah. on with the court stuff. It's supposed to be Friday, I think. Um, I was told you had a no contact order. You can get into that stuff if you want or not, but like, what is, what is the actual charge and what are you I'm, facing? Do you expect it to get taken care of or like what's going on with that? Yeah. So, so like I've been through this before because my, uh, evil son who was told by his mother that, that, you know, they're both victims of me, accused me of domestic violence, uh, you know, in, in a court, but I, I, my problem is I don't see why I should have to show up in court and I don't see why I should have to abide by this no contact order. Cause there are basic problems with all this stuff that I, I actually think nobody could answer, uh, such as for example, here, here's a, just an issue. This is a server. This is a discord server that both grace and I use as a, one of the like sort of aspects of our, of our livelihood, right? I don't know whether in a contact order, she's allowed to like say come on and mute herself, or or mm. what? Like I think as long as she doesn't talk, it might be okay. But if you were talking, well, to I was her, told by yeah. that she can talk to me all she wants. Really? She so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All she wants, she can call me. She can text. It's me. just no contact, and, and, like physical contact. Is that what it means? Yeah, I, d different orders have different restrictions, right? So I don't know the terms of yours or. But they, what I'm saying is they try to, they try to, there's two issues I have with it. They try to 
have this line between you and another person that I actually don't think is possible to have. But especially what complicates it is when the other person has no desire to have this line put there. I have no idea how that makes any sense whatsoever. And I think it denies, you know, this is like one of these things. I think the men's rights movement tends to be douchey, bunch of bros like jerking each other off. But actually, I actually think it really affects women and children more than men because women and children need their fathers more than their fathers need them. So actually, I think it's like a basic human rights issue because I know my daughter, she needs me to be part of her life. And without that, she's going to suffer immensely. And same with my kids. And none of them want this done on their behalf. And there's no justification for any of it. And so I would like someone to try to justify any of this in any way whatsoever. Well, yeah. I would just say be careful um, because, you know, you might not think it's fair or whatever, but those no contact no. orders can, you know, first violation, something like that might not be that big a deal, but they, they can start stacking and start fucking with you. Now, if no, I understand. Yeah. No, I understand. They're, they're saying they're threatening me with violence. Uh, and, and they will follow through on that. But every, every, you know what? Every police officer said who interacted with me, they said, I have, you know, this stuff makes no sense to me. And uh, the guy who booked me said, you know, this is the last thing I want to be doing. Right. So, like the boys in blue, who are generally masculine men, don't want to be doing this. But what do they always say? Well, of course, they're more likely to beat their wives, right? They probably do. As well, even if they don't, no. they just say that to make you feel better. That's they an unbelievable misandric statement to me. Now, now, in some circumstances, wife beating isn't just acceptable, it's epic. I have to disavow that. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that, that's just pure misandry to assume that police officers... Where should I go? I'm already out. Extraordinarily professional, extraordinarily in control of their emotions. I would trust most of them more than I would trust... The vast majority. Oh, wait, police officers. Wait, those, statis those statistics are not misandry. Statistically, they are more likely they to beat their wives than the general population. You said they probably beat their wives. That's insane. It's probable. It is probable. All likely. No. Probably. Okay, so now uh, they do that all the time. You can 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 understand English. What does probably mean? Uh, that it is uh, likely probable. Uh, what does statistically, they do. Statistically, they do. They what, they do it all the time. What number is probably? What number do you have? Statistics. To... Statistically. Uh, I think they are they are no, more likely than the general population. No, no, that's population the basic, to beat point. Their lives. This is a basic yes. point. Not answering. Okay, lab. You're a an intelligent female, right? The no. word probably <laughs> could be interpreted as <laughs> more likely than not. Would you agree with that? We'll stay with words before we get to numbers. It maybe, can be an, it can be interpreted that way. Yeah, wasn't wasn't the in what other the way? Like 50, in what other 40 way? Forty to fifty percent of their way, of police. In what other way can survive? It was forty percent. Yeah, forty percent. That's pretty big. In what other way can the term probably? Go to the good. chocolate shop. Near the chocolate shop. What other way can the term probably she, be? You're good. making Amelia. She misspoke. She meant most. She said most likely, but she meant disproportionately. Okay, so is she going to retract the term probably? She should. Yeah, she should. No, I still mean probably. <laughs> okay, so oh my god, admit that you're saying that means more likely than not. She's wrong. She's retarded. It's fine. I have a question for you though, Ben. Like, do you not think like courts should have the power to take? I'm like, not, I'm not talking to you. Comments. You need to. You need to apologize. You want to apologize. I'm, yeah, That's I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry for trolling you. I'm, but you were avoiding my question. Well, it seemed like it. But I'm sorry I, for I trolling you so hard. I have not to answer every question by every That's autist fair. on planet Earth. Okay, and you should have stopped doing what you were doing. Okay, and if you admit that, that's fine. We'll move on. Okay? Just say okay, and we'll move on. Okay, I'm sorry, Ben, but I just want to ask Shaggy one question. How much ice cream can you fit in your butt, Shaggy? Also, is Kitty Styles here? Didn't he fuck his sister and admit to that on stream.me? Hey, aren't you uh, strung out on Xanax? Shut your fucking mouth, you What fat. does that got to do Don't, with anything? I think Don't being on Xanax is a lot better than fuck fucking is. your sister, You're the king Styles. of nothing, dude. You're, You're a, a king sick of nothing. fuck, Shut dude. Your you should be face. banned from life. Go fuck your sister again, sick fuck. I want a reverse card. 
Oh, this is Potato and Ethan. Are oh, you gonna do a low blow? Well, he admitted it, it Ben. He <laughs> fucked his yeah, sister. He did, he did admit it. He did admit it. He stalls his I'm not making that up, bag, bro. Oh, he I don't know why you're hanging around sister. Him. He literally fucked his sister. I don't think oh, that's true. No, it's that? true, Ben. He admitted it on stream. On stream.me. I swear to God. Did I? Ethan. I've... Ethan. Ethan, let okay. me ask you a question. I'm being real. That's so gross. Do you have Ethan. video evidence? Yeah, yeah Ethan, I was about to ask for a clip. You yeah, have I'll video evidence? Your fucking yes. whore mouth for a minute. Ethan, let me ask you a question. Sure. As a man, have you found on the internet that accusations of violent and sexually predatory uh, crimes are often hurled at men willy nilly and that we should yes. be more careful I, I, have, about hey, that I have found that Ben but in this case he talked shit. about it in depth and okay. admitted to doing uh, it okay. so like that's that's why I okay. agree with you in uh, theory okay. uh, but like this guy uh, you know uh, made a confession uh, to the this guy is coming back bro yeah that no, no, really happened yeah you have the video evidence and everything right I mean, it's but very when men easy are co-opted into oh, this, oh, it's not easy to find. Oh, I said it's yeah, very easy to find. Oh, it's very the video evidence of me fucking my sister. Okay, I would think a video evidence of you talking to me. about yeah, it. Show it to me. Show it. Did to you me. fuck your sister or not? What do you think? Well, you yes. said you, you did, so I'm thinking you did. Yeah. 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 No, you no, said I did. You said I said that. But Ethan, Ethan, what business it? Is I mean, I don't care about his sister, obviously, Ben. Obviously, you, know you I mean? care. Whatever. You care because you, you mentioned it in front world, of 50 people. So, actually, you do care. No, I just care about razzing you because you're a sick fuck. You want my attention. So, so. so you're okay, okay, Mr. Cynics, I can't remember now. shit. What, and is, that? what yeah. is that compared to the fucking your sister, dude? Bro, you're on drugs. You can't even remember Wait, anything because you suck your soul out of your yeah, fucking life. You take too many drugs. Did I've seen you for years. You're a fucking loser, dude. You're a fucking loser. Even Ralph, even Ralph. Ethan, your gum sucks. Like, who the fuck are you? Can't we end the show? 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 Can't we end the so you won't be bullying I don't care about it. your fucking opinion. Did I don't care about it. Did you fuck your sister or not? We didn't hit the goal. What do you think? I do. Okay, you know what? Just answer the question. I don't care what you think. You no, think whatever you think. My sister. Right. Wait, I'm so did you fuck your sister? You could just if say you, no. If you have any proof, if you have any proof, then maybe I did. <laughs> okay, but... but maybe I did. <laughs> I go look yeah, for it. Yeah. Here's the thing. Make up all your... Of, you know, kind of I would say all of us as men, especially masculine men, have probably done things sexually which we which we re regret. I don't think there's a masculine man. Maybe some of these losers in here who can't even use vocal range have done things. Have never done anything Damn. sexual because they can't even get it uh, up. Even me. But probably even me. of all the things we're embarrassed about, as men, cent it's things we've done humble. sexually. Ralph out here and maybe we homos. should just like so our family. Part. Like, what are you fucking on about? Go easy on that. Yes. It, right. Anyone can hear from your voice that you're not a man. So I'm not including you. You can ben, you're a fucking joke. Ben, Horror Maxer says you're, you're a little beta male. You're a woman. You're a woman. You're fat. Ben, you are a up? joke of a man. You're not even a good father. You don't okay. even have custody of your fucking children, so okay. shut the fuck okay. up. Okay, so let me answer, let me respond to your question. Do a lot of men, when they're growing up, does it also sometimes include things that they do when they're younger? For example, I engaged in uh, naked making out which was done to me by an 11 year old boy named Joe Shabatoni, and I was molested by his sister also. This is shit. There are some things we can all know less about. We can all know less about. Joe Shabatoni. No, Ben, I'm not going to lie. 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 Ben, I'm not going to of water in a pool late at night when I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> Do I think okay. that's <laughs> I know her too. Complex. I know her too. A pool fucker. <laughs> Do I feel like that? Do I feel like that's fair to the other residents of the apartment complex that they were swimming in the remnants of my jizz the next day? No, but shit happens. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> shit happens. happens. I want to try to go hands free. And it was, you know, kind of exciting and stimulating. You know, shit happens when you're... Ben, can you tell us the story about your dad's leg? Yeah, that's another I think example. you might be a sexist <laughs> <Another> or <laughs> example. Could not even tell this one. The dad's leg one, please, Ben. 
I opened a can I, of worms. I, I didn't know what was going story. on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Male sexuality is a wild Male sexuality is a wild Ben. Come on. We want to hear that one. I, oh, I, sure. I, just say for, I just say for the record, I wouldn't touch any inanimate object within Ben's reach with a hole in it. I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the stories of this guy <laughs> and what he stuck his dick in, bro. I don't know, dude. Yeah. dude I'd be yeah, afraid I, to put my I key think, into his fucking log. I think largely all of us have little stories like that when we were Tell us about your dad's leg. Oh, yeah, that's true. Everyone, everyone, I don't know about the leg story, so now I actually want to hear it too. I've not heard this one. Yeah, let's hear that. No, that's no problem. That one, I can then. tell you that story. Okay. My okay, dad is uh, a wonderful uh, father, and he was divorced from my mother, who was and is a daughter of the devil. Um, and he would have us, he would have two of his four sons with him every other weekend. When we were younger, uh, he would have us uh, sleep in the same bed with him which is totally <laughs> normal because we had a small apartment and it's totally fine and normal and only a loser would you know find that whatever and at a certain age i uh you know reached a certain age where he didn't understand that it was un inappropriate but i think uh at some point in the night you know i got a boner and sort of rubbed it up against him felt really bad about that and he was super nice about it because he didn't say anything about it the next day and just the next time I came there, he had a bed set up, so I would sleep in that bed. I think that's terrific parenting. What, and what gentleman? <laughs> why, did, why did you do that for Grace? Why did you do that? You didn't. You didn't talk about it. You just quietly set up another bed for Grace. That's awesome. Yeah, do his advice. What? What is it? Like Grace goes to go to bed tomorrow night, and instead of with you, you've set up another little bed for it. So it's good parenting. Grace has always had a bed of her own. That's true. What, what is the but, question? Uh, let, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. Look, I volunteered some stuff about my life. Maybe I shouldn't have, but yeah, why, why did this story come out? Like, did, I, I guess you've told it before because some people in the chat already knew about it. I I never heard. I'll tell it. you what. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why this and many other stories I tell is because I think there's a, an hysteria on the Internet where especially young people become like frightened of sexuality and especially male sexuality, especially their own sexuality. I mean, young men, especially young white men, are not reproducing. They're not having sex with women. And how, I, how is telling we're a story not about you fucking things that made them help that. And I'm here to say that it is a normal part of male sexuality. Obviously, there are things that should, you know, but but <laughs> like we all make mistakes. Except except like that person who just laughed there, who probably said. That he's never I even got what, I think what he's saying is dry oh, hump your dad's <laughs> leg to save the white race. There are a significant, not, there are not small number of men who are considering castrating themselves. Uh, yeah, yeah. A large man. Like you wouldn't hump your dad's like leg having, to save the white Having you a are big, correct. hard are dick like I have might be a crime. I think you're right. And it's not a crime. They do, they do have this issue, you're correct, but like, can't you take it too far the other direction? Don't you accept that you that you could take it too far the other way? Yeah, I do think there are lines, right? And especially when you're talking about like children. What are, what are they? The, I, I I completely I completely endorse the teachings of the Catholic Church, and for example, That's the state serious. of Rhode Island yeah, has uh, laws on the books about pederasty and all that stuff. I I think they're pretty good. I think the age of consent should be 16. I think that's fine. Um, but I mean, everybody wants to say like that. You know, there are certain lies that we're telling, such as that you, a 15-year-old um, can't be a sexual predator. That's a but, lie. But you you wouldn't have sex with a 16-year-old, would you, Ben? Not a 51. Would I have sex? But that's not the issue of whether I would have sex with a 16-year-old. Well, I'm saying you're, you're saying you would you consent to be 16. You wouldn't have sex with a 16-year-old at 51. Do I think there's a 16-year-old on planet Earth who could seduce me into sucking my dick? Probably. I'm going to be honest about that. A 16-year-old oh. could get you to suck your own dick. What the fuck? <laughs> Me into having her suck my dick. Yeah, I, I think that's probably true. I think all men would probably say that's true. There's probably a 16-year-old on Earth. She set her mind to it and was hot enough and seductive enough could get... No, no, I'm sorry. When you say she's hot enough, though, dick. Ben, what that, what that means is she's... <laughs> all the great yeah. 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 I know I've trolled a lot. This is very important. Ben, hold on, please, please. Hold on. When you say she's hot enough, by that you mean, like, it seems like a woman enough, right? Is that not what you mean by that? I would have uh, seen you, you know, whatever seductive. 
that includes like physical, psychological like, like evidence. Was, is anyone going to deny? Is anyone going to say that? I mean, I probably, uh, in actual fact, I probably wouldn't. But I think I'm incredibly mature sexually. But I think most men could be put in that position. I don't if, think a 16-year-old could get me to suck my own dick. Yeah, a lot of men are dogs, Ben. <laughs> right, nobody idea. has to get I think the I think road. the logical follow-up to that, that question is... Because you're such a fucking loser. What about, uh, what, what about on the whole planet Earth, is there a 14-year-old hot enough and seductive enough for you? <laughs> in, <laughs> the, Jesus in the state Christ. of Rhode Island? No. no because, what about uh, on the whole planet Earth? Is there well, a oh, single one? For the yes. age of consent? Are we really going to whittle this down to the conversation of is whoa, there an age whoa, whoa, shut, shut, like, come on. Anyways, I mean, I, I just think that's not controversial. That men, if there are predatory young females, can be seduced into doing something which, on paper, they would not see as a good thing. Uh, that, is that controversial? It's a weak spot we have. Yeah, I but I didn't a, hear an answer there. You said like, there is probably a 16-year-old hot enough to seduce you to sucking your dick. But I actually what about don't 14? really. That's I don't really think that's true. But like, I mean, actually, don't think that's true. But I think that I have an incredible virtue of sexual. Hold on. Hold on. But how could you suck your own then, then, dick? Then, is what I wanted then, to ask. That seems like then, tell Ralph about um, play babies. Remember play babies? No, he was <laughs> saying that there's a 16-year-old girl out there somewhere yeah. that he would let her suck his dick. Oh, okay, well that's <laughs> yeah. I mean that's a different thing. But how did it get from <laughs> that to sucking your own dick? I again, I'm not gonna let a 16-year-old suck my dick to be clear. But I. It changed from her sucking dick to you sucking your own dick. I, I don't know. I was just lost. On no, the, but Ben's ba yeah, making a courageous statement. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's a 16 year old out there that's sexy. Yeah. 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 Whenever you let her suck his dick, ben, ben, yeah. ben, ben tells about he would get seduced his by his own tongue because he because he thought it would taste like frosting, <laughs> icing, something like that. You know, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, Actually, yeah. that's a perfect one. That's a perfect one. I think most men, if they were being honest, would say that at some point in their lives. They've experienced the taste of their own semen, oh, and mostly. Come on, man. Oh, well, I had a girl completely... snowball me. I had a beautiful uh, snowball you, mulatto girl. She was gorgeous, and uh, what does that mean? And then snowballed me. And what is, yeah, so... okay, yeah, 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 three times. Like, what does what's snowballing? Is that when you see how much ice cream you can put in Mom and Shaggy's ass? No, when she takes the gravy <laughs> and then gives you and gives you a little gravy back. Hey, what? That's called snow. <laughs> She so, snowballed. Oh wait, so, so so she kissed your cum into your mouth? Yeah, she was a dirty bitch. It was fun, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I like yeah. her. I like her for doing that. I, I think I, I, this is a sanitized version you're doing. Before this, you yeah. tasted your own cum because you thought it looked like icing sugar. All right, so... <laughs> no, I wanted to... See, right, I do think a lot of men just want to see if it tastes like frosting before, you know, so that they... They're kind of hoping... They're kind of hoping it tastes like frosting so they can, you know, feel like they're not <laughs> sort hope, of... But not, not test it. Not like, a ba not like a bakery. Like, we don't test it. You probably hope it does, but you avoid that shit. Ben, when was the last well, time that you ate your own cum? How long has it been since you ate your own cum? teaching that those are all disordered acts. But, I mean, apparently it's fine to say, like, I engage in homoerotic activity with myself by taking my hand and jerking my dick until it comes. <laughs> like, I, I mean, okay. that's what that is. So did you do I, that I, while I, you were yeah. in jail? Did you get one out while you were in jail? I did think about it, you know, just as an act of like sort of... <laughs> Defiance. <laughs> Defiance. <laughs> we put it in gang up there. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. This fucking jail cell was the... crazy. I, yeah. It was like, I, it was like being in... I do understand how they say like supermax because it was basically uh solitary confinement it was just me and three walls and a camera looking at me and there was i i couldn't hear what was going on there was no one who came in and checked on me i was Sounds not like a i was there i was not like read my right and eventually i started yelling at the camera and uh i also tried to like at one point hide from the camera because i could see the angle i hope they're <laughs> going to do an epstein check on me. it makes you fuck it, it makes you feel crazy that's Especially, check. That's, a, that's a good I was one. There. Yeah. And I did also. Did think you about jerk it. off while you were in jail? Then they didn't give me any yesterday? toilet paper. But but I'm on camera. They didn't give me any toilet paper. So why shouldn't I take a shit on the floor and throw it at the fucking camera? Why shouldn't I? <laughs> that's a good question. Well, I, I, I gotta, it's, uh, it's a good point. Why didn't they give me any toilet point. paper? Yeah, you're fucking. You throw shit stain. around like a chimpanzee. I told the cop, the, fuck, I told the, cop the blood stain on the uh, on the bars. And you know he just like was like well, ben, don't ben, James wait did Fox you literally shit in the ten. cell like on the floor I pissed, several, I pissed several times 
and it was watched by <laughs> who knows who. But in the pot, though, not just in the cell. Yeah, but, you know, I missed at a certain point, and I was like, you know what? I'm not wiping that up, niggas. You wipe it up. But you have to sit in there with us, the problem. Wait, really, yeah. wait a minute. You, you missed with your shit. I mean, we're talking about piss here. You, you missed the toilet with shit. It covers up the smell <laughs> of vinegar. It's decent. The fragrance. Well, I was there. I was, I was, I was half naked. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, didn't sorry, no, I, I, I remember now you've got stomach issues. It was diarrhea everywhere. I got it. We're burying the lead a little bit. Can we just return to the previous thing before we move to the next one? I want Ethan to like. A 16, to a 16, a 16 year old girl. Knowledge. A 16 year old girl. I want Ethan to understand. Research. What I'm saying is that I, I do think that men, uh, I think it's okay that men within limits, like, you know, recognize like that is a weak spot for us. I, I think. Well, let me ask you this. If you, uh, if you think I have a lot this of sympathy okay for young not. men who engage in, you know, in. in, in well, what about, do you have sympathy for this? Because this is a text message from Kitty Styles, and he says, I was 14 or 15. Don't remember. I wasn't thinking right. I felt so bad. And then the respondent says, yeah, that's still illegal. She was a child. And that's him talking about fucking his sister. Yeah, no. He probably did. So, I, don't, I don't know who we're talking about, but the potato guy. Uh, I, he changed his name. His, his name's Kitty Styles for me forever. I have, am I let, saying? Let am I to... saying that? Am, am I? Are you saying that uh, siblings get into sexual stuff? Yeah, they do. Do I, I think it's okay? Things okay? No, no, they don't, Ben. <laughs> siblings? The were siblings mentioned? <laughs> siblings sometimes. Well, he wanted me to this. get some proof out here, and here it is on my screen on my stream. And so, you know, I just thought I would bring it up oh. since he challenged me. So Straight up, where do you read that? Well, you I mean, can turn on the kill stream and read it right now yourself. It's about the previous, um, the previous okay, update. No. You said, you said okay, a sixteen-year-old no, girl could be hot enough to attract you, right? Why not a fifteen-year-old or a fourteen-year-old girl? If a sixteen one can, why would? Okay, is there not I mean, a fourteen? One hundred and one ice cream full of arms. Dude, you just casually said it. Do you got proof of that? Well, I have more screenshots here if you'd like me to read through those. But even, even, no, you said I fucked my sister said, specifically. I was saying, can you prove it? This, but wait, wait, wait. You Ethan, said that. You, I mean, I, I don't know. No, unless you were I, lying. When? Ethan, when Ethan, 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 would you recognize that if someone said, do you have, it do you have proof of me saying that? Well, yeah, I'm about to pull it up some more here if you'd like me to read some more Why passages. Why do people, a potato, you do why do people bro. think you've gone Lannister style on your sister? Why do people think that? Whoa. Well, you could say what you want to say. Well, I'll say I'm, this I'm in your own you words. Where... Let me, hold on, Shaggy. Let me read this. He says, I didn't do anything but touch her. I was merely a teenager myself. I didn't do anything against anyone's will. I taught her how to masturbate. I was ashamed of myself for 15 years and told her I felt bad about it many years ago. She said she forgave me, but she was angry. How can it be said in any way? doesn't have to be lied about. It should never be talked about publicly. Well, you're the one who did that. He said, it's bad for her. They are just fucking retarded for digging. Uh, so and then you said, I punished myself for doing bad. I hated myself for 15 years. Now, are those your words? I don't know. You're reading it up to me. I don't know. Well, I mean, just say if know? they are or aren't. I mean, but, it, but does that right, sound like someone who basically is healthy? Don't know. Well, no, Ben. What the fuck? Ben? Not really, the but fuck? yes, but sure. In your world, you Ben. Well, but okay, but we could. But if someone said this happened and uh, I endorse it, and I think it was terrific, that's far more concerning. Well, he does right? seem to have some regret about it. Yeah, that's fair to say. But uh, he should. You, 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 said, spend, you said you said I fucked my sister. Have spend, he shouldn't have to spend the rest well, of his life on it. But it should be fucking investigated and, and looked at. Yeah, but he shouldn't follow. Why it should it be investigated? Years. By whom should it be investigated? The kill stream. You think? Investigate stuff like that. The kill stream. <laughs> By <rain> <laughs> okay, okay, but everyone's <laughs> talked talk about it for six years. So, like... okay, well, maybe, maybe he's like in some sense doing what you, Ethan, and me have done. Which I've is never done that. By the way, I want okay, to but, I don't well, even but, have but a sister. In, okay. okay, but in some sense, to say like, yeah, mistakes happen. I'm happy to talk about them. And well, man, he's bad. been pulling on my That's cape man. for quite a while now, talking shit. So you know, he's kind of right. just getting what he deserves, honestly. So. Okay, all right. Well, it, to me, it doesn't sound like something. It sounds like something that's better dealt with privately. And you could say it. it, it you could say I would say the question. Well, yeah, he's would never should have said it in public. Wanted... Ben, that's my thing. Like he's the one who said all. Okay, that. and I don't know how that came about. Yeah, but... why do you say it in public then? Because you said it, and then you talk shit about it. What are you talking about? I mean, you've been talking shit about me for months. Wait, did you watch my stream? No, but I hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have people you just call me, me and talk shit to me. Well, I'd rather ask you in public. It's more fun to embarrass you. That's why. You seem really fine about See, it. Ethan, yeah, I would differentiate between I would differentiate between potato, and I only have limited, and uh, that little man bun loser fucking coop. And say I have respect <laughs> for Potato. He may I may I may not know him well enough, but Thanks, I have respect man. for him. I I think he's worthy of respect. Unlike that man bun loser You're fucking inverted reality, Ben. You say fucking your sister's healthy, and then I'm surprised that we think that something. Okay, and you're you're healthy. lying now. That's not like, what he said. No, you though. said you said that's healthy. You oh, said, he didn't say that. The guy who fucks his sister. No, you're just lying now. But dude, this you're, is the hysteria. I, 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 okay, I think that's we what need I, to have. I, thought I, had, I, thought I think we need said, to have good men like Ethan, me, and Potato. And other men, you know, kind of say like, "Shut the fuck up," because that's not what, what was said. Was healthy, lying is what, not okay. What did you? I'm lying is lie. not okay. What did, what did you say was healthy? I'm not here and explain it to you. Be re fucking respectful. Get the fuck out of here. Go cry to someone else, or figure out whether you really want to be on this earth. Because the minimum here is to be a human being. If you're bantering, that's fine. But you're just you're just lying. All right. So figure it out. But better yet, shut the fuck up. Now, I would like to talk to. Ethan and say like, sure. okay, yeah, you could question something about potato, but your issue is is what that he talks shit about you. Yeah, he's been he's been trying to get my attention for quite some time now, and he was in the chat, okay, so but, I just figured I'd bring up you know his sister activity. All right, but let me let me ask you this as a creator because I had this thing with Andrew Wilson, Wilson where I've been biting on him. In some ways, as a creator, it's okay to have people who are like trying to get your attention, right, and beefing with you, right? It actually yeah, it actually works. <gasps> Because like you got this guy, Cod, he didn't just like gifted one subscription. On absolutely kick. obsessed with you, and is in a no, sense. I'm, I'm just doing a show. Secondary, huh? right? So no, he's kind of he's kind of doing you, you do a man. favor. Like I don't you're talking about. Stay on the point of what you're talking about. Stop invoking me, you rapist. Okay, but so so, so here here bad. you can see why I have no respect for this person yeah, because he cries about being defamed. And then you know what? I'll, goes, I'll say one thing for Kitty Styles no slash Potato. Respect. He has much more composure than Brian Don. That's true. I'll say that. Yeah, Brian Don is a fucking Thank loser. I yes. Agree with that. Okay. See, we're working together as men. Potato, I don't know. Potato, do you really? Are you really angry at Ethan, or are you just like nah, <clears throat> nah? I, I think Ethan's <laughs> funny. Okay. So well, I, don't think, I don't think Potato's a real threat to you, Ethan. Do you feel like he is? No. Okay. So we've got peace now. Let's all jerk each other off. And no, no, each no, 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 So we, all, we don't want to get, now, I think one of the other <laughs> for men is that we never want to get into a state where it's like a men's support group because that's not masculine, right? And like high-fiving and bro-hugging and stuff like that. On the internet, it's kind of gay. So I, I say we kick it around. But this is, this is my issue, Ethan, is that, there's a culture uh, on the internet that I think we should. Oh. Are you there, Ben? I cut off. I, yeah, say it again. Yeah, you're cutting out. Am I back? Yeah. Yeah, you are. I don't know. I got bounced from my own server somehow. But, uh, and, and I think this contributes to a culture in which, like, the police get involved. And children and women are the ones who actually suffer the most from this. Because... I feel like as a man, <clears throat> I'm fairly grounded because I believe Jesse Lee Peterson that like we're we're sort of grounded in God. But women and children need strong men in their lives. And these rules actually these rules, these laws and these kind of things. And I don't see how that's not true. I would love to like like ask the question like how is it that any of this makes any sense? I think Ethan you would say something like it kind of makes sense. I kind of get it. And I wonder if you really do get it. For example, in your situation, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to throw shade, but you're saying, like, I think it's okay that if, like, and tell me if I'm wrong, I'm trying to be respectful. If you have a substance abuse problem and you're living with a woman and children, uh, but you don't cross the line of making that problem your kid's problem by abusing them, that I don't really, I don't really see why the law should come in and separate you from your children who need you very much, warts and all. Do you agree with that? Yeah, and I can't talk about any specific situation. No, I know. I'm just talking reasons, generally. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if I, a man's an alcoholic, I don't think that's like automatic DQ for him being a spouse and a father living with his family. 
Yeah, and again, I can't talk about my specific situations, but in theory, no, I, in theory, I agree there should be a, a high bar for police to get involved uh, or like the courts to get involved because once they're involved, they're involved forever, as you've seen with yourself, yeah. right? Like uh, they don't go away once you're in the system. Do you know how the this is like controversial? Do you know how the Russian Federation in 2017 decided they were going to delineate where the state gets involved? Uh, no, I don't actually. Well, in domestic violence, they 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 say when there is hospitalization, in other words, a serious injury, then the state will get involved. Other than that, you're on your own. And I think that makes a lot of sense because to me, like as as a theologian, right, the Catholic faith would recognize there are two natural spheres and all other ones that are consensual. But like the family is a natural unit, which should res be respected. And the state is another natural unit, which should be respected. And the state doesn't have unlimited rights to overrule the legitimate rights of a family. For example, if the state determines that, uh, like, like, for example, uh, this thing about uh, transitioning, right? The, the question can become, does the state have a right to overrule a parent's decision about a minor who wants to cut his dick off, right? And I think the answer is obviously no. That is a parental decision, if it, if it even should be allowed at all. And sex education and education in general, all that kind of stuff. Like, I think we've lost a sensibility, largely in the West, that parents have legitimate rights. And that for better or worse, God has put their children into their hands. And if it's not good... It's not good, but it only gets worse if the state now plays the role of being everyone's parent. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's a legit concern. I understand concern. what you're saying. Yeah. Like, if, if, two spouses, if, if two spouses have a certain relationship that they agree to, um, and other people can certainly question whether that's good, but I don't think the state has a right to say, like, I don't like your style of being married to each other. And... I think that would go pretty much for any adults up until the line where, uh, you know, there, there's like an obvious thing. Like if you're playing Russian roulette with another adult, I do think the state should come in and go like, that's crazy. This is insane. And, you know, someone needs to be accounted for. But if a father raises his voice towards his children or even uses physical uh, physicality in doing so, what right does the state have to question that and determine whether his parenting style is legal or illegal? I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, you raise some good points. I, I think there should be a high bar for the for the state to get involved. Um, yeah. So I, I don't disagree with that. I've kind of said that myself. Um, and then once you get involved, like I said, it never it never ends. It'll be a lifelong thing or decades long thing. And so that's kind of what I was talking to you about earlier uh, with your case here. And then, you know, you got the other stuff with your wife. Somebody said y'all were getting divorced. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but it's mm -hmm. just like a snowball type thing. <laughs> just use the call back there. Not that same type of snowball, but. Uh, what happened, Sentry? <laughs> Jews can you ask Ben where we can't find as much at? Where the, but I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of be just worked out by people working them out within a relationship. Say that girl who uh, gave me the snowball. Like, I, I spat <laughs> it out and was like, what the fuck, bitch? But, you know, I kind of, like, I don't need the police involved. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't really understand it. But it, you could see if that was in reverse, something that I did to her as a man sexually that was kind of like that. She, it, it's normal for us to think in our society that she could call the police and they should get involved. Right? Like, say something a little non-consensual like uh whatever whatever there's not any number of things and i just think that what we end up having is a legal system which is just straight up misandrist it is anti-male and the idea could be like oh fuck men okay but you who you really fuck are children and women who depend on men so i think we have like a major major problem and i'm sick of living in a society like that because basically what it is is if a woman or a bitch like Ride, who's not really a man, gets angry, then real men start going to jail. And the men who put them in jail shrug their shoulders and go, what can you do? Uh, the system sucks. And I think that 
very easily becomes an, a completely crazy society. Also, I, I had a yeah, and I don't look. I I, I, agree. Know, I I don't really disagree with all that. Now it's a little off topic. From of course, the whole thing's been off topic. So whatever. Um, but I, yeah. I did have a super chat here, and and I guess they're looking for your mug shot. Um, I don't know if they took a mug shot yeah. or how that's available. Well, they took a mug shot. <laughs> The, the cop, you know, these cops know me pretty well, but <laughs> he couldn't get the camera working. And I told him, uh, yeah, the last mug shot I used on my uh, Tinder account. And <laughs> like, he didn't hear me at first. Was like, what? Seriously? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you wouldn't believe the bitches out there. They love shit like that. You know what I mean? And he just sort of laughed. It's true. The, the girls like the bad boy. This is another aspect of these women. A lot of this stuff they do with the cops actually, I think, is a form of BDSM. Lav is into BDSM, obviously. If she came over here, which she somehow, for some reason suggested doing, that she's going to live over here. I told what? her I wouldn't let her do Yeah, she suggested that she come live with me. And, uh, is she know, married? <laughs> Not anymore. I what don't happened? think that's... Put it in quotes. Uh, uh, it in quotes. Yeah. You know what she said about it? You know what she said about her whatever? She said when he gets a boner and pushes it up against her, that she's she can feel free to go like, no, nigga not we're not doing that <laughs> in other words for her sex is completely optional and she's totally in control he has no rights whatsoever to make any sort of you know that she doesn't have any obligation to respond to him sexually and that's why she comes on the internet with me and wants me to talk dirty with her and tell her exactly what i'm going to do with her because that's an unhealthy relationship do you agree with that that sounds very oh, unhealthy what? yeah does she do that has she gotten off to your sex talk is that she begged me for dick pics, and she did dirty talk with me. I don't know whether what? she actually flicked her bean to it, but, you know. Did I get her pussy wet? Absolutely. Did she deny it when I told her she did? Absolutely not. And she does, you know, she does this BDSM thing with me, which is fine. But I have a problem with bitches who bring the cops into their BDSM because that's part of the whole game, isn't it? I don't know whether I kind of like it or what, but, like, it doesn't seem fair to kids that when a woman wants to do BDSM, including cops with guns and all this shit, which I'm not in, whether kids should have to be deprived of their father or whether that's also a form of kind of family BDSM. It seems to me at a certain point where we should say, like, this shit's crazy. Kids need their father and uh, a woman who just, like, can't stop with their obsession. She should she should be taken in and thrown into it. Some sort. Me. Is she but we don't have. Here, by the way, is she going to answer to any of this or? Who? Lab. No, she's gone. She's oh, off she... getting her face. Yeah, injected she left. Box. <laughs> it laughs. Because she she hates the fact that she's getting older. Like many women, she sees time as her enemy because she's trade. She thinks her only value is her sexual value in her relationship with her quote unquote husband. She, she, you know, I think women should age gracefully and uh, pivot away from the power of youthful sexuality into the dignity of a woman who's getting a little bit older. But bitches like her, she told me she thinks that Elon Musk or some sort of technologist is going to keep her pussy tight until she's 80 years old. I don't think that's going to happen. Sweet. I don't think anyone thinks that's about to happen. But her whole entire... Uh, Objection, Ben. Mind. This is irrelevant. <laughs> okay. Just, just be crazy. Just, this, just, this whole topic, this whole conversation was off topic. How do you, like... It did get off topic a little, yeah. Yeah, like... Well, my question is that... how it is okay for how this isn't, this society isn't absolutely batshit crazy. You're right about that. The situation I'm in right now. You're right. I don't get I think the biggest problem you have right it's now insane. is that you still have to uh, figure out how to cohabitate with this demon daughter that you have. Um, what are you going to do? Well, I can't cohabitate. You have to say you can't legally yeah. right now. Yeah. Where are you, even where after are you, you work that out, I mean, she, you, can, she can go to the court and she can get it. Uh, yeah, but are you, are, you, are you living in the garage downstairs? But then, but then you, you still got that demon in your, you know, haunting yeah, you. Yeah, and, and, and men. Ben, are you living in the garage? Um, um, you can trade her to me for uh, my old SUV. I'll trade her for an SUV. An old SUV? Yeah, not, you not can. I'll, I'll take Grace, and you can have the SUV. 
okay but like here's another rule like if you're gonna say something that's kind of edgy make it funny that's just stupid it makes no sense i don't know i thought it was pretty funny what's the making well, model what year is it's it? funny to hear anyone laugh uh fair enough fair enough okay so maybe learn a lesson <laughs> and next time you know maybe spit uh you know, work it out in a way and like find some other friends and go like, is this funny and work yeah, on yeah, No, no, you're right. You're right, Ben. I'm not, I'm not nearly as funny as you. I'm sorry. Shag, Shaggy's an acquired taste. You have to sort of lean into it a bit. Sorry about, I'm just saying like, maybe you have a humiliation fetish and you say stupid things so you can get smacked down. And now I'm playing into that, but all right, let's move on. <laughs> the issue is, uh, well, Tech, yeah, Grace I, admitted I, she's the fault. She she admitted she's the reason why you went you got real mad and the, you know the, yeah. the the shove with the foot and the you were kind of like yeah. out of your mind for a few hours before that and she admits that it was her fault. Yeah. Right. Right. And she's right to do that. So I think, what is so, what's the remedy for that? What do we do there? Well, I think our actual problem was that you, you know the Jesse Lee Peterson and Ethan knows it as well, the Jesse Lee Peterson formula is like forgive your mother then forgive your father. The problem that used to happen, so if if Grace is very, very angry from what her mother did to her, I think that makes a lot of sense. You wouldn't believe what her mother did to her, okay, for the crime of being pretty. Okay, right. and so she did forgive her mother, and then she had trouble forgiving me because she had been co-opted and being kind of like a surrogate parent for my kids. And she kind of was unclear about whether she, like, for example, just today, she got a call. My youngest son had a fever and was in school. And the nurse in school couldn't get a hold of Grace's mother because she's so incompetent that she didn't update her phone number. So Grace had to answer the phone and inform her of her of uh inform the nurse of her mother's updated number. Okay. How did you find out about this? You read about it on Facebook or something? Because I'm sure Grace didn't tell you. Grace didn't tell me that, no. I heard it from good, somebody. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah. Right. The record. <laughs> so, <laughs> nudge, nudge. So, right. So you can see how crazy it gets, right? So, all right. So, I got your back, dog. Should, does Grace have the obligation to do that on her mother's behalf? Uh, n yeah, no, it should. Uh... Nope. Nope. Incompetent mom. Jail. I, um, it was some guy. Well, I mean, on, isn't it? Uh, if she's if she said your father can't be part of your life because we're all victims, and your older sister, who has basically taken care of you and been the competent female quasi parent, uh, is going to be accused of crimes when she actually uh, helps you. Like when 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 we found my son wandering the streets at eleven o'clock at night. Of a of a pretty rough area of town, trying to Black get some area. food for himself. Wait, he it, the the Chinese place is right down the street from Courtney's house. Like, what is it like a two minute walk? Okay, Artie, let's go here. Let's go here. Do you think uh, an eleven year old boy should be left alone with no adult supervision? Oh, wait, Charlie picked him up minutes? from the basketball game. Not with the Shabatonis around him, all right? Not, and, uh, not dropped not him off. And it's ours. Do you think? that an 11 year old boy is competent to be left alone in a house for hours and hours and and also to not be given enough food that wait no no, no i believe the story was joey got uh sent money from courtney to get chinese food because he asked for it yeah i think he had money for chinese food yeah yeah he said like can i get this and she said yes and he's yeah, like, I don't know. You're the parent. You, you I'll know. ask you the question again. Like 11 years old? Yeah, at 11, 11 years old, he could must, be alive. Like, yeah, 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 we could walk around town at 11. Like, let, what's let the problem? Yeah, I was too. I didn't clarify his question. Okay, I mean, yeah, you could you could argue for it or against it. But I I think that's too young to be left alone and also to be given money to on foot go and procure food for yourself. And the and the Chinese restaurant was closed by the time he went there. 
Well, Ben, can I ask It'd you be something? Be better if you had two parents. It, it, it's different for well, he's me. A, he's full of chicken nuggies by that time. No, no, wait. Let me ask you something. It, it's totally uh, well. It's related to this whole conversation, but not this particular part uh, about the the jail stuff and all that. Um, Grace yeah. was alluding to having done something terrible. I guess to you or lied oh, to you days the, ago. the day before. Very, very embarrassing. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I never yeah. know what that yeah. is. Uh, I never heard what that is. Now you don't have to tell me, but I it, it's you know she seemed like is she not pay the storage bill then. It's, it's kind of an it's kind of an interesting you know it's I'm not going to go into the details. That's uh, why I some, It's something private, but it was something which in it you could say like you know in one sense not a big deal, but in another sense like super jeopardized everything in our lives and i think she did it you know sometimes people as a way like who are really really troubled will do something like that to kind of force themselves to stop doing something you know what i mean like they they do something so crazy as almost a way of saying to themselves like i gotta stop this because i've been saying to her for years and years and years like you're doing crazy things and you just keep on, keep on, keep on doing them. So I actually think, you know, it was, it, it was in a sense virtuous, like what she did. Uh, but it, it's super crazy when your mind, when your mind has been sort of like shot, uh, because things have been so crazy. A lot of times you, you, you go with your emotions and your appetites and, you know, it's kind of going on instinct and it's very risky and it's very, it could be very, dangerous to do that but sometimes sometimes that's the right thing to do uh i don't know like sometimes you got to go on gut and Why are you so like for example this ba- to, uh, I have no idea what it might be on this. Really on this. like did she cut herself or try and kill herself or something that's what people were saying yeah so, so, sometimes people do that sort of stuff like as a cry for help uh, or even as a way of saying to themselves like it's tricky, but I think it's part of like human experience that sometimes people do things that are really bad just to kind of, I don't know, just to kind of like say to themselves, like, this is what I'm doing. Let me stop pretending I'm doing something else. Uh, last, last and... thing, it's important. Last thing, I promise, and I'll shut up for a long time, but Lev offered to like to pay for a therapy. I really think you should um, really take that offer, honestly. Especially if she's hurting herself. She didn't make an offer to me, so I'm not sure why she, you're appealing well, she, to she me. Would. She would. She'd remake the offer to you to encourage Grace to take the therapist that she's offering to pay for. I think it's a good offer. Yeah, I think Grace's criticism of Lab is that she's actually a controlling abuser who's uh, actually who's who has this veneer of charity. Why doesn't she just give Grace money? If she wants to support she her, wants, she wouldn't. She wouldn't spend it on that. It's like a homeless person. But do you right, well, here's the question: therapy, Why didn't? Like, do you think, do you like, think therapy? I'll answer the question. But do you think therapy would benefit Grace? Like, that's, I think it'd help us. Well, it's not all on you. It's not a matter of thinking. You, you can ask. You can ask the question objectively: Does therapy help people? And the answer is largely no. Not worth. Not even worth trying for Grace then, when she's in a pretty bad, pretty bad position. Yeah, it kind of comes back to the question of like, You're even after you get the legal thing position. worked out. You still got to oh, deal with saying, Grace in the she's condition. She's saying she's in a bad position. You're saying she's in a bad position. She's I'm in a bad observing. position because of a legal situation. How's the therapist? Doesn't she need a lawyer? Well, it could, it could even help. Yeah, she both. Yeah, a therapist could even help you with a legal situation. Sure. Well, here's the problem with therapy. Do you, do you not understand the problem with therapy? It has problems. A therapist is someone who's paid to listen to your problems. Now, if someone listens to your problems and gives you a genuine response, that could be valuable. Why is it that therapists are generally not going to give you an honest response? Because they're in business, right? Are they yeah, in they business to make? Like you're paying them. Okay. You're not enabling How do you make the like most what? money as a therapist? You keep Keeping people stuck in their problems, everything. right? And that's a pro- that, That's oh. a difficulty with the way therapy is set up. That's why priests should play the role of therapists because a priest can say the truth to someone, and his his money is not affected by it. You think it needs to be doctor, the doctor and, treat someone's cough or infection like that makes no sense yeah, you know that's a really good point okay so during covid let's go there let's go full third rail during covid doctors were highly incentivized to push a certain therapeutic over other therapeutics right and they were highly incentivized financially because they're running a business now does that put doctors in a position where they're choosing between them as business people 
and them as healers? It absolutely does. Do you Doctors, think many doctors, most priests well, want you to come back to church to too? I, mean, I think the same incentive is there. And, and actually, do you know, like you know, you know where the, what the original that. hospitals were? You know who set up the original hospitals? Catholics. The church set up the original hospitals, and there is a certain benefit to having uh, people who are dedicated to the religious life do certain things in society because. In a, you could say overall, they're sort of dependent on the public supporting them. But moment by moment, when I used to teach in a Catholic school and there were still some brothers there, the brothers could kind of do whatever the fuck they wanted, which can be dangerous, but they had a certain freedom in talking, for example, with parents. They could tell the parents, like, fuck you. And they weren't going to lose their job necessarily. Even public school teachers have much more, because of the unions, much more like protection. Whereas if you're a, a lay person teaching, you've got to really pander to parents because any one of them can get you fired. And several of them tried that's, to get me that's, fired. That's true. You, you get shut up in a little bit here, but there's two things to respond to. Like, doctors could make a lot of money selling some, like prescriptions on the side illegally, but they don't all do that. So that leads me to ask you, like, do you think and most of them are hired therapists? by a company? All right. There, all, there right. No all right. Good, no all right. Good, no all good right. therapist. But... Do, you think that, do you think that doctors who prescribe AD, ADD medication are basically just drug pushers and they they know that this will solve this kid's problems yeah you i agree with parts of what you're saying but it doesn't lead me to think think there are no good doctors there are no good therapists no i think they are most doctors are not going to get paid more by prescribing adhd most doctors are not going to get paid more by prescribing it fair enough uh you know there are i do believe doctors are conflicted Labs well, offer to, sorry for interrupting you, but Labs offered to get her a therapist. They're a good therapist. If she got a good therapist, it would help Well, her. I wouldn't want Labs therapist judging by what she's saying. I will, say, I will, say, this. Uh, I will say this. that ben, Ben's not keen on therapy. But on last yeah, night's show, last night's show, someone suggested that Grace seems to get on with quite well, that she should get an exorcism. What are your thoughts on that, Ben? He was like saying you're a demon. Yeah, she... She did. She, I mean, not an exorcist. I don't think she has. Demonic possession is actually a very, very specific thing. It's not what I'm saying. She's the daughter of the devil. I don't mean she's literally possessed by a demon. That's an actually a very specific thing. The church has very strict rules. The vast majority of people who are presented as having demonic possession do not qualify. But there is such a thing as demonic possession, which is why you nobody should fuck around with Ouija boards and shit like that, because it does happen. If you invite the devil into your soul he may take you up on the offer but usually he acts through things like envy and you know the normal you know be, you know in, in this kind of non possessed so, um, so, so, so this guy seemed to be ringing up being your bull washer but you disavow his idea that you, you're going to get grace and exorcism because he was like, he was pretty, well, he was pretty insistent on it. He was like, go see a, there was something, go, go to confession, go get an exorcism. Well, there's something called a simple exorcism, which as Catholics, uh, you know, we say at uh, the Easter mass, I renounce the devil, the father of lies and all of his lies or something like that. All Anyone can do that. Any they do that. The, and all of his work. Father, yeah. Uh, something like, yeah, yeah you, you can do that. Uh, you could also sit there with Latin books like a retard and pretend you're doing a self exorcism, uh, but it's it's just stupid, stupid shit. I mean, I don't I don't think I did the I, and I did the same thing with Grace's mother, uh, a simple exorcism, and um, you, get, you gave Courtney an exorcism. Well, I had her, you know. <laughs> was it for the bell then? Yeah. Don't, don't the interrupt bell, the story. Let's hear. I, I want to hear about this. I want to hear about. Courtney's exorcism. Let's go, Ben. Calm down. Yeah, and I also, uh, we also try to use uh, physical, you know, punishment as uh, a way to, you know, possibly inspire something less crazy to go on. But, uh, you know, she's a tough one. She's, the devil's got his hooks in her. And was this, um, you know, was this when Grace was whipping her with a belt? Was that what it was? Uh, I believe that's what happened. Yeah. She and on a little bit mother... more serious, like in a more direct way. Could you give any idea? Have you you've had a couple of days to think about it, and we're identifying Grace as like the real reason why you were kind of like freaking out and 
Um, do you have any kind of strategy in mind, like how you're going to fix this issue? Like even after you get the legal uh, issue remedied and you're back together and you guys are still in a streaming partnership, how are we going to like keep this from happening again? Yeah, I mean, here's the, the, the saving grace of all these laws is that it's kind of like, you know, like there are laws against public indecency, public urination, um, things like that. Okay, you I don't only mean get the, the kick. I don't mean like keep the kick from happening again, but like, what about yeah. that cycle? We've seen you guys in many times where you're like really like kind of like losing your cool um, oh, and having a real bad time of it. Up, bro. You're boring as fuck. You know what I mean? Well, she did that yesterday. She, she, see, well, I would say, I was saying about the Jesse Lee Peterson thing. So it was sort of about her relationship with her siblings. I think she did resolve that. But the very the last, very last was whether, uh, you know, she's a victim of streaming. Because I, in some, it, it was unclear when we came on the internet. You know, I sort of dragged her by the hair onto the internet, and then she dragged her mother on, and then her mother dragged her brother on, and it was never resolved really, like whether she was freely doing this or not, because it was so crazy. Um, and so I think if Grace can get some resolution on that, which I encouraged her to do, by well, you were there, Big Tech, the last time I was able to freely speak with my daughter, uh, mm -hmm. without threat of imprisonment. I was encouraging. Mm -hmm her to uh you know have a more kind of uh fan audience relationship with the people in her chat like i'm doing with these losers here where i smack them down and tell them not to do it uh right. i think she's she's inherited her mother's kind of her mother used to her mother used to run we used to run airbnbs as a family and her mother would often we'd often find out that her mother was like paying them to stay because if they had any little complaint she would actually like comp everything and so they'd be staying there for free because she was so afraid of other people but really it was just a, a complete lack of social skills and maturity you shouldn't be running a business mm -hmm. if you're not making money off the business but she she would never uh she would for example only contact them as me um she would never just like you know she was just totally incompetent she was incapable of running a business in any way shape or form Though she exhausted me so much that I couldn't run it. And, you know, this is the kind of insanity that was handed down to Grace. So uh, I think Grace has largely got there. I think what she told Lab that she was a manipulating whore, basically, and then told Stardust that she was a Hindu pimple that should be popped. I think, yeah. you know, she started. Yeah. She said that? I didn't yeah. hear that. Wow. I, I agree. I Look, agree, Ben. And she, she did really, I loved really Grace, well. You know, Grace, Grace did on that, and I'm not talking to her, but what she did. She did a reverse Jesse Lee Peterson on Stardust because she said, do you love men and their penises? And Stardust went, I love men, but penises are gross. She said, do you love men and their penises? <laughs> and eventually Stardust said, I love men, but I think their penises are gross. <laughs> and she just went off on her. I think that's, it's, it's really hard for a woman who says like, I don't like, you know, you could say it's vulgar or whatever, but like every woman should say, I love dicks. And if they have a problem saying that, there's a huge problem because what are you saying? Really, you hate half the human race. And really, what's a vagina for except to receive dicks? So, I mean, the whole sexuality is thrown in the garbage when you do that. So it was kind of brilliant, I thought, on her part. So yeah. I was listening for it. I, maybe I, I'm not hearing... I don't know. Do, so you, are you giving thought to this? It doesn't sound like you have it figured out yet, but are you going to, what are you going to do? How are you going to fix this situation where like Grace well, I think she is, large uh, solved that problem. I don't know. There may be like some Grace solved still... the problem? Well, and I actually think this like separation between the two of us is good because she's going to have to be on her own too. And like, I think that she's setting up something. I, I heard this, just someone was talking about it, that she's setting up a conversation with Lauren De Laguna who claims, oh and I think does have some law background about how these laws make any sense. No, and, no, no, not uh, the legal problem though, Ben. Like the, the way that you get real mad at Grace and it's her fault. Like how are you going to stop doing that? Yeah, it's because she plays victim. Laguna's so how are you going to get her, her past a, that? A lie, by the way. I don't know if she knows. So I think she's she stopped. Either. So I think she stopped playing That's victim. your daughter though. She stopped playing victim after you got arrested? Yeah, I do think it actually was sobering for her to watch think, uh, that her, even though in you, some sense it wasn't her fault her do you, do you driving think some me. distancing is good ben just 
uh, like I said, I think it, I think as a streamer, I think yeah. it's going to be great for her to have some amount of time where she has to stand on her own for, two um, feet. Right, so, right. One, one second. When was it sobering for her? I would think it was sobering that her, you know, this is sort of game she plays playing the victim, uh, you know, caused me to go to jail. So you think she'll stop now because that happened? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a there's a part of the internet in that too, like the sector, if you will. Yeah, I understand, and the that, police and all the rest, but like, there's yeah, a, there's a bend part, there's a grace part, and there's a sector part or internet part. I don't know what the fuck you want to call well, it. Well, I mean, the, the essential problem is if she, in some sense, wants to be a partner with me as a streamer and as a human being, um, she can't be constantly trying to attack me in subtle ways and undermine everything I'm doing while claiming to want to do that. And so that, yeah, I think that's, otherwise you're going to get mad and start nitpicking her about like how, where she's looking well, what kind of a, and what you, what, kind of what words she's say, using. And well, I mean, I so, think that would just be common sense. Anyone who is saying, let's do something together and is subtly undermining what you're doing. Wouldn't the other person say, what the fuck? Yeah, but she doesn't use common sense. She's like demonic, right? Or or not demonic, but she's like her father's the devil, and she's got like mommy un, unforgiveness issues, and so she's gonna yeah, she's so, gonna like do it to you again. How are you gonna keep yourself from falling into that cycle where you eventually want to like well, you're shove it with your you're foot or that women uh, can't overcome the hell uh, that their mother point, gave them? Point how the big tech just slipped in. The no, father's we, the devil. Are we at, are we at exorcisms now? Well, no, that was ben, what Ben said. I'm just saying the Jesse Lee Peterson said. Uh, father's not the devil. A mother's the yeah, devil. Yeah, no, not not Ben. Her Shoot spiritual father out. is the she, her father. Her spiritual father is the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fails I mean, correct. it's extreme language, but I do think it's. Uh, not ben. Not I, I do think it's like if you if you don't take it as like you know this kind of like you know horror movie kind of thing like that like you're worshiping the devil. I I do think it is actually like that's the Christian patrimony to say that. Um, we're either child children of the light or children of the darkness, and women are not excluded from that, and neither are children. Excluded so, the, so from the that. common sense, like the rationality of like, oh, I want to work together with my dad, and I want to have a partnership in streaming, so I better not do this stuff to him. That's going to get go out the window because she's got like a deep spiritual, emotional um, anger issue. That's going to cause her to undermine you, and then you're going to feel pressed, and you're going to end up in the spiral of like. Well, you're you're saying that like in the future tense, it will cause her to do that, but it has certainly caused her to do that. And yeah, um, I've kind of said to her like, you have to stop this, and I've been incredibly patient, but at how a certain you, point, we, what? Are, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, is there something we can do to like get her to knock it off? Look, who cares? Or are you just hoping, like, is it like fingers fingers crossed that now that you got arrested? Yeah, I'm, well, I do think the remedy for this type of situation is extremely forceful, um, you know, uh, pr presentation of of the reality of what this person is doing. Yeah, this is um, this is becoming a little bit philosophical. What are we saying, Ben? Russia or court on Friday? Come on, bro. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to ask about Friday. So is it your arraignment on Friday? Um, if it is, I mean, they'll probably extend the no contact order, I would imagine. I've, I've yeah, got... what they're going to do on Friday is they're going to hit me. They're going to say, like they did last time, you really should get a lawyer. And I'm going to go, just like I did last time, I understand the legal situation. I do not want to have a lawyer. I didn't do anything wrong. They'll say, well, we'll give you two weeks to think about that. During which time I am not allowed. I, I live 30 minutes. I, I live like. 200 feet from the Massachusetts border. So I'm effectively a prisoner of the state of Rhode Island. I can't even get to court without going through Massachusetts. It's the smallest state in the Please union. Don't come here. We're here. full. Excuse me? I said, please don't come here. We're full. Okay. Maybe, maybe you could wait. And everybody laughed. Um, anyway, Ben, continue. But, but then they extend it. So this is what happened last time. It's this fucking rigmarole. Then you come back and you go, yeah, I didn't get a lawyer. I mean, I could get one appointed by the state because I'm technically penurious at this point. But then they'll have me try to make a plea deal where I take like a year, you know, where they put it on a shelf and it's there for Suspended a year, sense. but I have to go yeah. bullshit. Right. And I'm going to say no to that. And uh, then 
they're going to say, well, t- you should take some time to think about that. I mean, it's all, it's all fucking BDSM. I want to be that nigga who jumped up and attacked the judge. Remember that guy? He just took a leaping jump at the judge. And I'd like to go down like that. That is a true nigga. Let's go. Ben, don't say it. Please do I, um, Please I want you, I want you to be the N word too, my man. I don't need to say N word because I'm on the kill stream. Yes, thank you for that, by the way. That's the true nigga shit. All right, but, but wait, Ben. So just just to get it, just to get you your point um, about how do you stop this kind of cycle that Grace has, where she, you know, off stream, she's like this demon like figure where she's torturing you and tormenting. He's not going to do anything. Her. He's just going to like. Well, no, no, no. Hope that he, his fingers Phil, crossed. Though, it's going like, to get better. They can. I mean, we're just oh, here on, to talk on, about on. the drama. Like, I don't. What is this? Like, no, no, no we, we, shit, we're like, we're really interested in this, this stuff. Has been an ongoing. Yeah, okay, I will. I mean, people get their shit together or don't. Like, I mean, I don't know. We're t- people are talking like they're. I do think. I do think just because you don't have a soul because you took too much. Shut up! Stop fucking your sister. You're still mad about that. We still have a soul. You don't have a soul. You fucked your sister. Sister, you I'm sick sorry fuck. you lost your soul. You should you hang yourself from a ceiling beam. I'm sorry that you should happened never to you, speak but online. The rest of us, we still have you a soul. You fucked your sister, yeah. Kitty Styles. Just shut the fuck up. That's what a soulless person would say. You fucked your sister. Creature would say. You fucked your sister. Well, I do think we've all been trying to figure out like how do we get Grace to like stop doing the thing off stream whatever she does we don't know exactly what she does but we know that she torments men and it's like this demonic thing ben have you thought about Dude, getting and her ben, like, is baptized this, at a church is this, this guy, is this guy, ben nobody uh, really uh, cares about you or grace like i'm just telling you the truth these people are on here moral fagging nobody fucking cares they're pontificating like they give a fuck nah, it's just for content true. nobody oh, gives a true. fuck nah, ben, yes it true. is the it's truth true. it is the truth this is all for public consumption like it's just ridiculous you know, Ethan, let, let, let me explore this a little bit. I, I do think that's largely the truth. I do think we're basically in the realm of entertainment. And we I are. don't think that. Yeah. I don't think that's it's true. true. That's true. I don't use words like community, my community. It's not a community. It, a community is not a community if you could just press a button and you're not part of the community. It, there's more to community than that. But I do think people become personally invested, mostly in a totally unhealthy way. Right. Of playing out their the Whatever. Thorpe content is very nuanced. We are we are super connected parasocially with their emotional. Uh, I think a lot of people see similarities in their own uh, familial relationships. So I do think it can. I have mean, a kind are there of one or two on. people who really care? Yeah, I think so. But like, it's for the most part, like all this talk, like I don't know. I mean, you you have to handle that stuff in private, right? Like, advice from people on the internet. Like, this is on uh, my stream. Other people are streaming this. Like, nobody really. Well, no, I, I'm just trying to figure out like Ben's approach here. Is like he said that uh, the way you solve that is by pointing it out and kind of like exposing it. The great. Yeah, which you you were the guy who did it with Grace, right? Yesterday. Yeah. Yep. And, and I'm yeah. trying to like, is that the only, not. yeah, sorry. What we call saying? this guy ride Two Ben. So just a head up. Heads no, up. Who's... Way to... no, I'm thinking, the reason, the reason a guy like this, this gets shamed is because they'll go, oh, you're a simp, right? And he'll go, I'm not a simp for grace. I think grace sucks. And then they'll go, oh, you're a Ben ball washer. And right. I think that's also not true. Ride was a, Ben ball washer. He tried to talk about how big my dick was to other people. I was like, nigga, thank you. No. Uh, but I actually think Grace should suck this guy's dick. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Suck Matt's dick. Let's go. Because the problem with me and her has been you know, that I'm her father and people have all these questions, but I think she should rely on other men. I, and I understand with your audience, you got to be really careful and people are people or whatever. But I think she, she should be able to identify because it's the problem with her and me is she thinks like I'm the only good guy in the universe. And her mother had the same problem. And there are other good men. And I think. I mean, also, I'm, I'm, you know, I know Cop Clocker, Matt for co host. Let's go, baby. What do yeah, you reckon? No, so I, you know, I mean, she has to ask herself as there a creator. There are a what, lot of good I, men living out of vans in the jail boats. cells. So that's correct. There's a lot of men just like you that they could get with, Ben. I'm glad you're having that. How much ice cream can you fit in your ass, Shaggy, though? That's what really Yeah, happens. you fucking <laughs> asshole. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard of Jesus Christ? Yeah. I'm a Mormon. I, yes, I belong he to the homeless. true church. Not that Catholic bullshit. Yeah, he was homeless, and the apostles were all rich coming from a Mormon. <laughs> Martyred, right. So the idea that there are good men who were persecuted. Yes, well, no, the, the pretty- salvation happened not on the cross. It happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. Your church is full of shit, my friend. <laughs> oh, now we're going to do... I'm not, I'm not doing this thing. 
You know, it was suggested to me, Ben, Boring. that you versus Nigga, Mormon, Mormon is, Shaggy. Is a sex cult. Shut up. Wait, wait. It was suggested to me that you versus Mormon Shaggy would be a good debate, and then I said, well, Ben's in jail, but you're out now, so um, I don't know. If yeah, I'm happy to debate. Yeah, me I'm versus happy. the Hills have eyes. Well, why don't we just lights. do it now? I mean. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, Let's go, baby. Let's um, do it. Why Catholicism? That, that's my question. How did you get involved in Catholicism? Why Catholicism? Okay, hold on a second. I, I'm just trying to figure out who am I talking to? Someone named Norman Shaggy. Shaggy. Some random Norman, asshole. Yeah, I'm, I'm a random asshole. Green I am completely guy. irrelevant. I'm a I am an irrelevant, useless asshole. Don't worry okay. about me. I'm a loser. Why Catholicism? Right. Okay, but can I just what do I call you? Shaggy? I, 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 yeah, I'll just yeah, say this. Yeah. He's underselling yeah. himself. Shaggy yeah. Shaggy's underselling. King Shaggy. Uh, um, okay, Shaggy, what's the question? Why Catholicism? Well, why? Why do you? Uh, first off, uh, were you born into it, and why do you? Um, what is your emotional investment in it? You seem I to converted in really. Sorry. I converted Maybe because to it's the true church. I formally converted See, in nineteen. Okay, so you, I'm a convert I too. So that's that. That's good. Um, I, I'm just trying to get where you're coming from before before I start question. My my main thing. My my. Fixation, uh, my my neurosis is religious shit. All right, I, I love to talk about religion. That's my thing. So if if you don't enjoy that, this is going to be a boring fucking conversation for you. I, no, me too. I have a master's degree in theology, so I pursued. Great, religion. great. We should. Enjoy. I actually agree with a lot of what you were saying. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I, I shouldn't mm -hmm. need to do this. But let's set a ground rule that when I'm talking, you don't start talking. And when you're talking, I don't start talking unless it's absolutely necessary. How about that? Yeah, I'm, uh, that's fair enough. I, I have a I have a bit of difficulty with that. So I'll mute myself when you talk, okay? Whatever whatever you need to do, I, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, that, that's, I'm just being honest. I've got a bit of, because I got, my thoughts are running at, at, like always like really fast, man. Do you have um, no self-control? You have no self-control? I have self control. Uh, that's why I'm gonna mute myself. Exercise anyway, self like, uh, yeah, it's, it's just more Exercise hard for me to remember what I want to say. But okay, uh, no, I'm not a perfect. You, we could set up an official. You're still doing it right now. Do it. I mean, I, I it was seems just like a mistake. Now, but... No, <laughs> it seems uh, like no, a terrible just, idea. Look, I'll be respectful. I'll be respectful of what Ben's asking. Sure, I, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I just uh, before, like, I just got a bunch of questions. If you don't mind. Yeah, sure, but I mean. But, but I just have to pursue this a little bit. You're saying you're the victim of your impulses and you can't control yourself or you can control yourself and you will. You can't. Ben, you uh, can't. Yeah, I'm a total fucking retard. Absolutely. Massive spastic. Okay, so then I don't want to talk to someone who's going to be, act completely irrational. Well, no, you, I, I will. I will I, oh, yeah, yeah, no, he no, is not. He'll be rational, he is but rational. he's kind of retarded. He's I'm just kidding. I'm totally rational. I'm not going to be fine. a dick. Okay? Fine. fine. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, like... Uh, first off, um, what led you to Catholicism? Why specific? Was it just the rule of cool? Because I'll be honest, C C Catholics have like the coolest shit. We all know the Catholics have the coolest shit. But uh, what specifically led you to that church when you decided to convert? Because for me, I had a religious re experience that led me to the Mormon church. I'm not going to get into that. I, I like, but. Um, was it that way with you? Did you have like a a specific experience where, where God in some way led you well, to that church? Nosberg, thirty three cent uh, five. You could say in a sense, I read my Quit way into bent. the Catholic Church. So I studied religion as an undergraduate. I studied comparative religions, and I came to see that the Catholic Church is the one true church. Uh, that uh, yeah, I mean, it's true. I don't know. It's true. What is your opinion on the Gnostics? What is your opinion on the Gnostics? The, the Gnostics attempted to blend Christianity with a dualistic, Hellenistic, uh, philosophical understanding that's totally not compatible with Christianity. Is there any value in your view with their teachings? Uh, yeah, the value of all error, which shows us it's error. Uh, okay, okay. So in your, do you believe in scriptural inerrancy, that the scripture cannot be wrong? That it is the definitive word of God without error or, uh, you know, uh, misinterpretation. Misinterpretation? The, the scripture doesn't have an interpretation. No, but it's been translated many times. Yeah, do, yeah, okay. I mean, I believe the Catholic 
view of biblical inerrancy, which is nuanced. But yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I understand enough about that, but I, I don't agree with that. I, I just point that, but just state that. I think that uh, I, I just don't find that to be. But anyway. Um, well, if you want to get into that, you can. I, yeah, I, no, no, I'll, no. Um, could could, could, could you not instead? Is, could you just not get into that? Because this is fucking bad. Yeah, do you, uh, well, I, again, this is this is not going to be like a really fiery debate. Um, yeah, that's a shit idea. Like, like, you asked me poor, to, like, poor talk poor to this guy stream. about, like, all kill stream viewers, man. Oh my <laughs> god, Mormon, are you trying to kill us? <laughs> I, I don't know, you guys wanted oh, a I religious can't... debate. I, like... I don't know this uh, man. I've, I've avoided his content largely because, like, it, it just didn't seem to be my source. So I don't, I'm not an expert on Ben Thorpe, I don't know his religious beliefs, so I have to ask him all this shit. I have to actually find out yeah. what his religious oh God, three, are. Three people. Oh, he has no viewers for this. Nobody gives a shit about this. Yeah, no one gives a shit about this. Like, why are we doing this? Well, maybe, maybe if we do one, we should hype it up. I think people would like to see it, but off the cuff, I don't know. Maybe it won't work. People are in the ultimate questions. Anyways, maybe maybe Mormon or Mr. Shaggy, whatever you are, uh, you could just kind of try to shoot your shot like real quick on something interesting, and then we'll pursue that instead of this like roundabout thing. Uh, yeah, what's your opinion on polygamy? I think it's the only way to save the white race. <laughs> All right. My opinion is the opinion <laughs> by Lord and Savior who said that a man should take one woman. Christ had three wives. What? Christ had three wives and a lot of kids. The Catholics killed the, his uh, his actual descendants to establish their own church. Uh, okay, well, so I don't know how to respond to that because there's no evidence of that. Uh, I mean, like there is, but the Catholics burned most of it because they had a long time to do it. But no, there right. is evidence that uh, a different the, story than the, the, the existence of the Gnostics story. and the various teachings is the evidence that Christ had children. Many of those groups said that they were the students of one of Christ's children. It's right. Also and those, those, and those, that okay. he, those texts are, ha, were proven to be written centuries after the original texts of the new testament so yes they well, claimed I mean, all sorts who proved that the catholics proved that i mean i'd have to see which text you're referring to specifically i mean well you could look into that stuff which is why there are resources available and if you looked into why that does stuff Gnosticism predate Catholicism? wait 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 wait, wait. let me finish my sentence if you looked into that stuff and had an open mind about it i think you would find that the overwhelming historical evidence even critical evidence would agree that uh, yeah, this is true. It's it's like Adam Gre it's like Adam Green level shit. You're just speculating. I, I, I don't know. Well, we're talking about ancient history, and neither of us are historians. But it seems to me uh, that that's the not Gnostic true. Master's degree in theology with a specialization in church history. So you're wrong. About I don't that. give a shit. I, I, I'm ordained by the true church. I, I'm a Latter day Saint. Okay, but so you said of... neither of us are experts. You are not an expert. I am an expert. I do not regard you as an expert. You're a Catholic. Okay, so then what's an perfect. expert? What's an expert? A Mormon. Okay, so you're then a Mormon. You use the term yeah. oh. expert. Moron. You mean Mormon. Look, I, 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 as I see it, if Christ is a real God, you should be able to have an actual relationship with him. He's not something you should need to I study do. and get a master's degree in. Like, I do have an actual relationship with him. Uh, right, then you shouldn't need to rely on a bunch of shit from a college that's run by liberals. Those and that's why we should believe in potatoism. Now shut the fuck up. And <laughs> well, what is potatoism? Like why don't you explain what potatoism is? It involves is? fucking potato. your sister, Shaggy. Pick up, pick up a potato and find out. You just put a potato in your hand, and that's it. So if, your I, sister. if I that's pick it. up a potato, I will that's end it. up you on don't a need, path towards incest. You don't need a degree. You just need a potato. Shut the fuck up, Katie Styles. Uh, can I just say one thing, and then and then maybe we're going to part ways here? Is is that <laughs> uh, I believe that there is a commandment from God, which I do believe Mormons also recognize: "Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain." A lot of people think that has to do with using uh, terms like Jesus Christ when you stub your toe. I think it has to do with using religious language and talking about religious things in a way that's not serious. I think that's what you're doing. I think you should stop doing it. If you have any respect at all for your creator and for yourself, you should study these things before you start talking about them like an idiot. 
the Lord is patient, but not endlessly patient. And I think you yes, should consider whether have... there's any respectfulness here whatsoever towards the things of God. Uh, that's a fair point. And I'll tell you, I have read the Bible, the Quran, the Book of Mormon. I take it very seriously. And, and one thing you did say no, I, you that I actually agreed with and wanted to address is you said that the world would be better if we had priests uh, working in the roles of uh, right, that, that therapists and perhaps even politicians, uh, you know, uh, hold. If that was the case where, I didn't say that. Uh, you know, oh. Oh, so uh, you said that there. Well, I, I agreed with you when you said therapists usurp the role of the priests. I was wondering if you wanted yeah. to elaborate more about that. Yeah, I think therapy is a Jewish pseudo religion that's you know, as, as, in the West. Yeah, I very much agree. I'm I'm actually a psych tech. I, I work in that industry, and I agree with you 100. percent Everything that I've seen is snake oil, and it's. Uh, it largely seems to be anti-religious in in nature. Uh, do you know what the basis of psychology is? Do you know Do you know what its most fundamental kind of claim is? I probably should as a professional, but I don't. What is it? <laughs> the most fundamental claim of psychology, which was incredibly radical uh, at the time and has never been substantiated, is that what we refer to as psychological problems, which used to be a subset of moral problems. Uh, were claimed to be organic problems in the brain, which were caused by like the wrong chemicals and things like that. The only two psycholo like quasi psychological problems that have ever been substantiated to have their origins in the brain are Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, because those are actually problems with the organ of the brain. There has never been any evidence whatsoever presented on any level that any of the other problems, which are considered psychological problems, have anything to do with chemicals in the brain as their origin. So the whole basis of this religion is garbage. But like many pseudo-religions or pseudo-sciences, when they're completely, like such as evolution also, when they're undermined, people just ignore it and move on because actually they don't give a shit about what's true. They just want their side to win. And I do think their side is largely the side of many Jews who want to undermine Christianity. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying that there aren't real Jews, but these kind of like Jews who present themselves as uh, revolutionaries against Christianity. I do believe that's that's what it really is all about. So to say that I should suggest to my daughter, which I can't do legally, largely because of revolutionary uh, activity against men, largely inspired by Jews, uh, should put my should encourage me to put her in their hands is insane. Yeah, I, I agree. Do you have like a priest that you uh, you you see like a family priest or some something to send send her to like that? That would be an infinitely better option for in my no. opinion. No, the, the vast majority of priests in the Catholic Church are also adherents. They're they're adherents of the pseudo religion of uh, psychology. That's why we had all okay. these scandals. The bishops, who are supposed to act as fathers of their priests, instead sent them to psychotherapists who told you know who you know who basically they deferred to another religion and and they need to like really stop doing that because when they sent them to these therapists, these uh, these demonic priests manipulated the therapists into saying like yeah no I think he gets it and sent them back to the bishop who said well the therapist said it was okay so let's put you back in action. Yeah, no, it's um, I, I, I uh, I'm glad you brought that up. I uh, how do you um, because for me, uh, I have a I have a lot of problems with just the level of corruption in my own church. And um, I don't think it's nearly as bad as what I see in the Catholic Church uh, a, as a Catholic who clearly, you know, cares about his faith. How do you uh, how do you square your religion with Pope Francis and his, in, in my mind, very liberal, very left-wing, very satanic-seeming ideology. Uh, are you just waiting for a better leader? No, I love Pope Francis. But the ground of your, look, uh, look I'm not trying to be, I'm try, not trying to be a hater, but the ground of Mormonism is an historical story which makes no sense whatsoever, obviously, so I, uh, I don't know. Tell you. Yeah, I never, the reason I, I, I simply don't take much stock in that is because I am not a historian or a scientist, but there are historians and scientists who are members of the Mormon church. I, I am not God, but I do know that God told me in a very 
very specific way to join this church. Like in an in a unquestionable way, God Himself told me to join this church. I, again, I don't want to get into that because it something like that is is not something you should try to justify in an internet debate. That that was really you heard spiritual voices. There are two kinds of no, spiritual no. There were no voices. Those there were no come voices. from above and those which come from below. There, there were no voices. Okay. Well, you just said voices. God told me. There were events. There were uncanny events. It, it, events. It, it was, um, okay. Huh? Yeah, it, it was just. Events? Was it Fallout New Vegas? Uh, no, that's why I joined the. <laughs> that's 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 different. That's, I do believe God acts in that way. It doesn't necessarily mean he may he may intend for you to move in certain ways. It doesn't necessarily mean that you. Like we meet people like uh, who it doesn't necessarily mean you're supposed to stay there, but I, I can I can understand that. I believe that all of our experiences, who we meet, etc., are providential, right? As a Christ, as any kind of a Christian would agree, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're endorsements. If someone puts if God puts someone in your life, it doesn't necessarily mean that that means they think you have a healthy relation. You're going to have a healthy relationship with them, and that includes churches. Yeah, I my my problem is you seem to um, you believe that the Catholic Church is the one true church, correct? Correct. Yet you acknowledge that there is today a lot of corruption in the Catholic Church, correct? It depends what you mean by corruption. No, I would say essentially uh, no, but there are and always have been bad Catholics. All right. So there's a lot of Catholics today who are, who you might say, you know, have uh, are trying to serve two masters. Would you say? Is that how you'd put it? There's a lot of priests who are trying to serve the woke right, agenda. But, but, and, but do you do you not understand that that occurred at the time of our Lord? You've never heard of Judas? Yeah. No. I'm not. I'm not. Um, okay. That's a fair response. That's that's a, that's a fair response. Uh, be, why do you not investigate the actual claims of the Mormon church? By the way, power chat fix, power chat that live slash the Ralph Retort, Kitchen that live slash tip, Rumble here. Rants, and all that stuff. Of, I have a couple of things backed okay, up. I'm going to play so, those in a minute. I don't know how much longer I'll stay brain? in here. We have a guest at six. Yeah, and that that's part of it. If I told, like, I'll tell you, like, my conversion story, like, in private if you want. I'm just like, this is very public. He's yeah, it's it's boring. It's not interesting, and it's not relevant yeah. to you. But but like, I'm saying, but I'm saying, you have an irrational view of God. He can tell you to do things, but all, are, are you saying he can tell you to do faith. things? All it, it's a leap. It's a leap of faith. I I believe in the Mormon Church. I believe okay, that so, my experience was like God so directing what, me. Okay, so what wouldn't you do if you felt God was directing you to do it? Would you murder someone if you felt like God yes, was directing yes. you? The, the Book of Mormon, the first thing the Book of Mormon tells you to do is kill someone if God tells you to do it. That's the first thing the Book of Mormon tells okay, you so to do. Okay, so you're completely irrational. Okay, so please don't ever visit me. I, I wasn't Thank intending to. I've never met you Thank in person. You I, I didn't know this was okay. the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Are you talk about Russia, Bam? Start. This is. I, I have. I, I have. You're totally I'm, irrational. Why, why do you use words if you are totally irrational? I, I don't know. It's convenient for me. I need to ask for things sometimes. You have the same mentality as a serial killer. You hear voices and you, you'll uh -huh. do anything. Okay, so like maybe you should check yourself if before I you I was a serial killer, I would leave. A... All right, so <laughs> you've like proven over and over again that you're totally and utterly you like irrational. You like insane clown posse? Are you down with the clown? Juggalo. I love some I don't know what to say. I'm kind of, I'm not feeling it, bro. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a bad person. I'm just a Mormon, buddy. You, you don't. That's what all evil work. people say. I think you should give me more of a chance before you declare me evil, man. You long but, time. I didn't declare you evil. Always, I just are irrational. Worse than evil. The point is of talking to someone who's openly saying they're utterly irrational. Um, I'm just look uh, again. It's it's difficult for me to like look at the words of a bunch of dead men and compare that to what I believe are instructions from actual God, and say, well, I should I should go somewhere now. If God gave, like ha there was another thing, another similar series of events that pointed me 
away from the Mormon church, I'd probably leave. But uh, nigga, nigga, let me know, tell you being something. Being a member of the Mormon not, church isn't. Hey, nigga, we don't let me say tell you something. God's not talking <laughs> to you. I can tell you. Whatever you're hearing is not coming from God. Try something yeah. else. Uh, I mean, machine. I'll tell you this, right? Being a member of the Mormon Church has not always been fun. At times, it's Hold been on, church. very fun. Not Mormon Church. Huh? Yeah, being a member of this church has been. In, in who you are? You, you, who you are? You're a buffoon. You're a buffoon. You're a fool. And that's be fun. For a law cow, and you're a fool. So I'm not. Yeah, well, like, I mean, oh, then, then your 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 name is far is far more. Uh, it precedes you far more than mine precedes me, Ben. In that regard, right? But I don't that doesn't know make me cool. Our word also. Cows. I, I really don't know if you're the one to be declaring people lol cows. This is just yeah, a discussion I am one. Of religion. I am one because I it's am rational. Look, 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 you, you may, you, you may, you're have, a fool. You may, you may look like some depictions of Moses, but you're not Moses, okay, buddy? You're a man oh, who's widely on. believed to fuck your buddy. his own daughter. I'm not your buddy. You're, you're I don't want widely to believed to fuck your own daughter. Get off daughter, my okay? Discord server and get the fuck away from me permanently. Go away. Aw. Shaggy, you're a cunt. Shaggy. You're a fucking cunt, Shaggy. You're a, All right, I don't you're a know who's cunt. calling me a cunt, but... Jesus Christ, Shaggy. Shaggy, fuck. Have some fucking respect for yourself. Shaggy is a king. Shaggy is He's a faggot. Leave Shaggy alone. What about Russia, Bam? Shaggy is a king. Shaggy sucks Russia. cock. Russia. Shaggy's going to Russia, I've heard. Yeah, what about Russia? Would the, do you think I could do that? Do you think that Putin might go, yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense? Mm, Fuck I no. Think, Russia maybe. doesn't I'll, want more degenerate scum so. like you. No, Russia isn't going to take your broke ass. Fuck no. No, dumbass. No, Ben. Didn't you, ta didn't you tell perfect. Shaggy to fuck off and never come back? What happened to that? <laughs> well, he yeah, doesn't yeah. listen because he's a fool. Guys, I don't know if dumbasses who fuck their own daughters and live in a no fucking tent. Hey. They're going to be living in a tent, Ben. Right, they're going to be living in a fucking fuck. tent. Fuck you. Big fucking like, surprise. Who told you to Why say don't that? you ask Jesus Devil, to get you out of your problem. financial situation, buddy? Why don't you idiot. ask the Lord or maybe the Catholic Church will bail you out? Maybe they'll help you. I... Oh, internet oh, well. blood sport is back. Oh, <laughs> Shaggy. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't. Whatever. I don't understand what that is. <coughs> I wouldn't like the Nazi. I, think, yeah, I do think Putin might see it as kind of interesting on. because I do think I am a kind of epitome of masculinity. I ben, agree. I'm six eight. Ben. I'm super intelligent. I'm gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I have prior oh, to the cock. on the internet. Massive I have, cock. I, Even bigger I balls. Crime. Yeah, I think I'm that nigga. Which balls to watch. True. Can you please unmute Shaggy? Were, like, 20, He's a king. 20 years ago? No, let him sit. 20, let him... 20, 20 years ago you were, Ben. You're yeah, I understand now. I should get in shape. I'm sure that uh, the Russian Federation has the resources oh, has to help me and get a good think, diet, you, give me some nice so... to uh, massage me, remove my uh, lipoma, and uh, get me in tip-top shape. You guys have never seen me looking good. I can kill it. I can kill it. Let's I'm fucking Tom Selleck. No, I don't think you've ever shared pictures of yourself from like like twenty years ago or thirty years ago. You should probably do that sometime. It'd be interesting. I'm better looking now than I've ever been. Yes. How do you feel about getting older, Ben? Like getting very, very old. How do I feel about what? Getting older and like dying. Everything. Are you like obsessed with that or? I absolutely love it. I hope that a monstrous human being like you takes me out as soon as possible, so I can. Enjoy eternal yeah, probably, salvation. Probably could. My reward in the bosom of my Lord. Isn't that a great... Could you imagine people wonder why it is good to be a Christian? I don't fear anything. Do you fear, think I fear anything? I don't fear death. I don't fear suffering. Jesus. I sat in that jail yeah, and I offered up my sufferings uh, to the Lord as a sacrifice to be combined with his sacrifice on the cross nice. so that his grace may spread in the world. There's nothing that can touch me. That's sick, dude. True. It's pretty baller. It's a pretty baller religion. Yeah. Hey, Enjoy. what's up? The only alternative is living like you guys live, which is in fear constantly. Mormon Shaggy's got nothing on that. Yeah. And it's available to anyone. You don't need to be beautiful, tall, incredibly intelligent, educated, 
wealthy You're like shocked. me. You don't need. You could be the lowest little scumbag, loser, worm in the world, and you still have that glory awaiting you. Even probably more so than me. Why? Because you get all these rewards on Earth. They 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 go without that. No, I don't. They're even more humble. Big Tech, you know to some degree that to be someone with incredible talents is to attract envy to you. It is no true. easy I life. Suffer, dude. True, true, it's true. rough, dude. Very I'm surrounded true. by There's seething envious haters who want to be me. Oh it's God. real. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I feel your pain you on think that, those dude. Top, you, you watch, yeah, look man. I wish top. I was a bold twat. You really yeah, do. You do. <laughs> Oh my you, think those op, you think those cops? There's one of them right there. Yeah. Just, oh, we, those oh, cops were picking their pants me on the track. Me away. Like all they had that. was a gun on me. Why? Well, all they tech. had was a gun on me. They wished it could be bald. They wished it could be. I wish I could you be know. bald, but instead I'm just ginger. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. That's rough. You need an actual soul to. Oh yeah, big tech, yeah, you never said that to my face when we did a podcast together. I'm still waiting for episode seven, you bald cat. So I'm I'm actually in his, I know Big Tech wanna ask me a question about race. I think I answered yeah. that question. But I, I really do That's have right. this question why I shouldn't drive down to New York and throw myself at the mercy of the Russian Federation. They can give me citizenship. I don't necessarily have to go to Russia, right? And I you should do it. A PR campaign. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and be protected by them because I think the I think the consulate <laughs> is technically like foreign soil, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So I could have diplomatic immunity, and but as uh, soon as you leave the consulate, yeah, and then you don't have to go to your court. You, you, exactly. then you don't even have to go to the yeah, court. Yeah, would, would I have to go to my Problem court solved. appointment? I don't think so. No, it's like uh, international there. waters. Now I should be able to go to my local Catholic parish and do the same thing, and the church True. should afford me. The same Asylum. protection because uh, it's called you refuge, I think, or something like that, because that's recognized in international law as a thing. So I should throw myself at the mercy of the protection of the Vatican, because sure. technically every Catholic Church is a sovereign nation. I mean, in most countries in Europe, that's true; they can't arrest you in a church. But my Catholic priest won't even talk to me because he's a fucking f a g g o t. I'm going to see him. That's why I report him. I have gone to see him. What is he? Wait, what is he? he had COVID. What does he say? And I said, I... A Smaster 33 sent $2 on Rumble. Let's make it three for three. They hate men. Down. That's part of the Let's underground biceps. Catholic Church. They hate men. Underground. I'm not yeah, right. Like in China, they have an underground church. That's it. That sounds pretty cool. I don't he's, like told you, he's told you he's got, he's got COVID four times in 2024. He just doesn't like you, Ben. Yeah, I know. So a lot of people like you. Have problems He's probably with vaccinated i no i don't have problem well i have problems i'm confused by you because like either you're an amazing man and you've just like yeah. chinatown's come along and pushed you into this shit and you've and they've twisted everything or you're a piece of shit there's one or the other right. i think uh, right. totally confused uh, i call it yeah a that's with true. it is one or the other you know, like it's, yeah the right. best lies like have some truth in them so it's a capital b bit yeah, I think the fa if you just thought I was a boring piece of shit, you wouldn't be hanging around obsessively day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. No, so been, I do regret. I've been hoping, I've been hoping that it's the first one and not the second one. And when I've been talking to you, it's not fake politeness. It's like it's genuine politeness, but confusion. Like I hope, I really hope that he isn't this thing. But here's There's the so question you should ask yourself: Why is it that at times you're respectful of me, and then at other times you're incredibly disrespectful of me when I I don't do that? Yeah. Maybe you. You could say like, "Oh, that should tell me something." Oh, that is a good question. Um, that's just because I like I get confused, and then people they'll push back on me that like I might be enabling a dangerous guy. I'll put it. I use a euphemism. Um, and I listen. But this to goes that to Ethan's I, I point. Do you think anyone gives a shit what you say on Discord about me? You really yeah, actually yeah. think that yeah, you? I care. I'll tell you why. I care I'll tell you why. Because I'll tell. Yeah, man, I'll tell like, you why. Because you've sat there and you've sat there <laughs> with streams on, on, with me on streams before, saying I'm not letting you talk to your wife. So it seems to make a difference. I don't have a wife. I have an ex in the sense of like Sorry, Twitter's your, your putative wife. You, yeah, I my won't let you talk to your putative wife. It, might, it makes a yeah, difference, you're right? part of the crew that does that thing. Yeah, no, I'm not. But 
Do you try to stop oh, him from talking to his wife? No, like he's we were keeping his wife off streams because it wasn't good for her. Like he wants to get them all on streams. Yeah, yeah. See, 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 these guys. This is so what the problem did. on the internet. These guys yeah, don't took make, don't make your wife a human a being and told her that they were going to protect her by creating a cult in which they won't allow anyone else to talk with her, feed into her lies, and then they say like, "Oh, this is definitely good. This is definitely healthy. It's not. It's sick, well, like, he, but it's her he, fault he, too." You took an immature person and convinced her to do things which are crimes she could go to jail for plus decades. Like because what? What plus, why is he cucking the content, Ben? That's my problem with it. Like, so it's not just content, though. You've got like no, a yeah, it is. Girl, it's though, content. A woman, a woman that's it's not content. Like, it's all it's content. Real life. Shit Who gives a fuck? You sound like yeah, pussy. Are you John's... fucking serious? Like, what in the it's world? It's like, not on a stream. Like, you're, it's you're content, This is actually dude. on a stream. This is actually. This is actually the same it's point. It's content, people, but it's not our... Of course it is. Let's Nobody would be here if it wasn't content. To determine whether someone can handle being on the internet or not. What fucking right do you have to ex to make a decision about keeping someone off the internet, quote, for their own good? Someone wants to be on the internet and is an adult. Let them shoot their shot. Yeah. They don't need your fucking well, help. When you're sitting there, like, just... When you're pulling everything up, all the messages, you bait them onto streams and then just abuse them more and make them look like shit for, like, some boss to go in your favor, then you tell that person... This is well, am I doing that to you me. now? Am I doing... Are you a victim of me now? Should someone come along and take you <laughs> off the internet and tell you that you're a victim of me, which is what you did to her? No, because you don't have access to talk at me for 10 hours a day and do this, like, dialectic shit constantly. You can't brainwash me. Yeah, I have access leave. to you whenever oh, I want. You stuck 24-7, nigga. You uh, yeah, you, you do. Know, you I'm show up everywhere I am. Hey, you can't say that word. Uh, That's a bad word. You can't say that. You're not that successful. I think Grace is doing well, but that's obviously not you as a. But it doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? You say you're on here and you're confused about whether I'm a great guy or a piece of shit. It's true. But it's true. But you protect other people from having a conversation with me because you I know don't... that they need to be protected by it. But you you're hit, don't. You're hitting them and knocking the glasses off the face. You're not hitting me, knocking the glasses off my face, and fucking. If I did, would, would you then? If I knocked your glasses off your face, would you yeah, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you would if then. I was, if I was, if I was John, you were away. If I, was, if I was John in that situation where you're just allowing Grace to like wind them up and shit, like the suffering you inflicted on him, that I'd, I'd hope someone would help me. You were torturing okay. the boy and just didn't give a shit. Okay, okay but I would but, help but, you. I would help how, you. Gives you the authority to determine whether I'm torturing someone or helping someone. It, it, it could be seen both ways, right? You just admitted. I'm either a really great yeah. guy or I'm a really bad guy. I agree with that. So right. but what gives you the right to determine which of those is the answer when you don't know it yourself? I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you because you put yourself on a stream and put all this shit out there and you invited this judgment. That's the mm -hmm. I in, invited who? You invited judgment. You can't just take publicity and money. Like Ethan knows all about this. You can't just take I'm, money I'm, I'm saying fine. People can talk to me. I'm letting you talk to me. But you say... Wow. I'm going to take other adults and make it so they can't talk to you. And I just I want to know how to talk to Courtney at all. I don't what? think he's talked to Courtney for a long time. I mean, I could he's be wrong. Part of a group. He's part of a group oh. which I, has I was talking. Yeah. taken her off the internet and told Advice. her that it's for her own good. And it has inspired her to commit crimes, serious felonies against her entire family to, quote, protect her. No, that's us. That's not poop. I, I think it sounds like you're a victim of them. Okay, but so John has a good job. He's happier away from the family. So Courtney says you. Is, I mean, and from what I saw, lovely John, woman. I talked to her almost he every day. Lovely woman. John seems happy. Or And Courtney, I don't know about her personally, but it seems like she has two jobs and uh, she's taking care of the kids. So that's good. Okay, so well, why does anybody care with... about that though? Because this is it's about internet Ben's family. Spurgery. Who gives well, a I, I, I don't care about his family. Well, like, fuck. I mean, I'm just gonna be well, honest. Like, fine. why would it's you? Fine. I, don't care I about mean, I mean, I'm just being real, Ben. I mean, we get along, but like, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and feign concern. Well, I'm just being real, mate. I'm a brand new. Well, fine. I don't part, care about your family. I mean, I'm not wishing for bad things either, but like to sit here and moral fact like this is just, I don't know. It's bizarre. What should we care about, Ethan? Entertainment. 
Because you That's care right. about hitting that goal. Suffer, Brian. Go get some more child porn. Go hit that goal. Suffer, Brian. Suffer, Brian. Suffer, Brian. Suffer, Brian. Suffer, Brian. We know you've been sitting there stewing the whole time since I stomped you out earlier. Go suck some more tranny cock, Brian. Go cheat on his wife. Go suck some more tranny cock. cheat on his wife in 2017. Oh, you have proof of Brian cheating on his wife? in 2017. I have the proof. Really? Yes, I posted it in the chat. Well, I'll be damned. Shocking, Brian. But he, It'd be a shame said, somebody sent that to your wife, Brian. Would you just, just threaten stuff. my wife, bro? What, by sending her an email? Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Ethan. Can I ask you, I, I agree with you. You're interested in content. You're interested in entertainment. That should be the main thing we're doing here. We're not a bunch of people. A registered like sex offender in Norway is I'm... sharing something when I wasn't even married or knew my wife. That's from 2015, Ralph. You fucking moron. What about the dick you suck that's all over the internet? Nope, it's 2017. I remember Ralph? it because I, I, I took those pedophile. screen caps. You can add Which whatever one? you want. Just, just, just keep choking on dick. Just keep choking on dick, Brian. Why you had child pornography. Brian, you know, the Brian, 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 you're Brian, an idiot. Brian, Brian, suffer, Brian, Brian, suffer. Brian, you're addicted to this. You can't just log I'm off. You're a fucking you loser. You you're a fucking moving. loser. There's you video of you sucking you dick all over the internet. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You don't do what I do because you failed. Because you failed, Brian. Suffer. Suffer. Ethan, oh, finally, yeah. entertain me. Ethan, 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 don't yeah. you think the greatest punishment for being married to Brian is being married to Brian? Yes, don't you I think do, it's actually. Anybody, <laughs> anyone who signs up for that. Yeah, like, I do. Can we, can we and I'm not going to send her any emails, but it's sure be funny. You You're not funny, I mean, listen dude. to the... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's mental. This is the man you, you've chosen openly to have sex with? I, I got no... I got no... I got no yeah. sympathy there. Yeah. I well, Ben, earlier you said a 16 year old might be able to convince you to suck your own dick. Yes. Ben, we never finished that. Like, what about a 14, a hot 14? That's cool. No, we're not going yeah. through that conversation. You want to do the age they, of consent? I, I'll simply say could a hot, fuck, could a hot, be true that a after the fuck. age of puberty, whenever a girl hits that, oh, she is yeah, puberty. Oh. Fever file. She's sexually attractive to men. That's when they get so, pubes in it, Ben. Oh. That's called biology. Oh. No, I, I asked you if you'd be able to seduce you, Ben, not if they were sexually attractive. Well, sexual attractiveness, I don't know what to tell you, nigga. Like, I don't know. If you don't know how biology works, if you don't know how seduction works, if you don't know how human you on sexuality biology. works, yes. then I don't know what to tell you. So you think any, any, any like, post-pubescent girl could seduce you because of biology? No, I didn't say that. She used her biology on me. That's kind. Of, that's kind of what you're saying. Like I'm saying, why would would you have not the willpower kind of or not to prevent? It is. Would you have the willpower to prevent a 14 year old girl that's hot, in your words, from seducing you? Well, here's this is just one of these stupid kind of arguments. You're saying in a tempting situation or in a situation <laughs> in what you're calling attempting. Attempted what, what, by. What, what no. <laughs> What, what would I, I don't do? Know saying I, I don't know that would me. I, you know what I'm saying? I could sit here and tell you things that are not true. But you sit here and tell me lots of things. What, what happens? Well, like, my answer is like you don't let it get to that point. You pull off into my You don't like you don't develop to that point. That's generally what men do. Excuse me. Progress to that stage. Men. Yeah, but you don't understand, Coop. That little girl says the girl says fourteen. The devil. Just says hi. Hi, I'm fourteen, and most guys say bye, whereas. Right. Attempt in situation. I, I would absolutely. Talk yeah, are we talking about fucking kids talk again? Every fucking talk to thing. Them, yeah. Talk to them, yes. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, we're we're all fucking fondlers, aren't we? So, might as well move on. To this this moral hysteria about pedophilia makes no sense. I mean, makes well, you no can sense. do it all you want. Crazy. What the fuck? Well, look, man, yeah, it's great. I just want to say, I don't wish, I don't wish ill on your family. I'm not saying that, but like these people who fake like they care, they really don't, and it's just to try to troll you and get more stuff. Well, I think it's, it's sad, man. Uh, they don't, they don't so really care. They don't they care. Really want to know they don't care. And you're an idiot. Shaggy fitting his ass. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, so, I agree. I agree. That's been like how I've been talking to Grace. It's like you have to understand yeah. the role of a creator in their audience is the role of a performer and their fans and. 
you should take it. I, well, I don't there think there is that rare the, person or, you know, a few who actually might care, but for the most part, no, right? Like, I mean, everybody on this call. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, but you, know, you know, this, Ben, it doesn't matter whether I care or not. I still took your wife away from you, bitch. Yeah, you bitch. We got your wife. Hey, let me We're ask you a question. Did you or did you not show Grace a picture of your 12-year-old daughter and say that you found it really, really difficult to navigate being her father because she's sexually mature. No, I, I, I did, and I, I. What? This is the reason I don't talk to Grace anymore. Jesus Christ! This is, this is the reason the I don't world? talk to Grace anymore. No, I, that's not. That bad. sounds bad. That does sound it. very well, bad. Well, I have to well, say. Well, 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 I mean, uh, look, you're stuttering good. all of a sudden, sir. That's I've been stuttering all night. I'm drunk, nigger. I actually think that's the most likely thing I've ever done. Does it? And you make me shit clean. I was talking. I was talking to Grace. I was talking to Grace, and we would, you know, we were talking about different things, and I was struggling with the fact that my daughter was really young and really overdeveloped, in my opinion. And I didn't know that she Dude, fucking what? show this to her dad. I, huh? Why would you send that to some random streamer and talk like that about your daughter? In the it wasn't, first it place? wasn't a random. It wasn't a random stream. We've been talking no, about. Mom. Well, I mean, these people are online for content. Why would you send out pictures of your fucking daughter and talk about how she's overdeveloped? I think it's fine. I think it's actually well, fine. I don't, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I nope. can't co-sign that. Not overdeveloped. <laughs> yeah. no, it's fine. I mean, I just can't, <laughs> you know. Like, well, I, I mean, we, even your your kids are your kids are relatively young. I do think it's a normal thing for a father to have some difficulty navigating. Uh, when okay, well, blocked. if you have that difficulty, <laughs> you shouldn't send those. I I I, I just can't, uh, Ben. Like, uh, and Ben's just, making it seem like he sent the photo at the same time as that comment. Whereas Ben would make like, if you're worried about your daughter getting a boyfriend, this is you being sexually worried about your daughter. This is the games he plays. I, I think it's I think it's a normal part of being a father okay. when you're I was, uh, I, 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 I was I was friendly with Grace and we used to talk about stuff like she's an internet problem. personality, <laughs> dude. It's not a therapist or like a, somebody in your private well, life. Whatever. And, and, anyway, also, you're sick. I, I mean, you're I sick. Okay. You're I sick. Little fucking prick. You're Shut sick. Up, nigga. Nigga. I Look, think that I think your twelve-year-old daughter should come you, on screen. I do yeah. not do that yeah, at yeah, all, yeah, and yeah, I will yeah, yeah, immediately yeah, yeah, yeah. come on cool, screen and, and and talk about it if she feels comfortable. If she feels, ben, you know, no. if that like her personality, yeah, well, we're, we're no. 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 talk about what it is to be a thirteen-year-old girl and the tensions of doing so. I think that's what YouTube's about. I think I there would be weirdos that they would say all kinds of crazy shit. But precisely, that's why you don't bring her on, Ben. That's what I'm saying. It's not happening, Ben. <laughs> well, okay, but I mean, I, I think that should be up to her at a certain point, certainly when she turns 18. And if she wants to do that, she should be able to do that. I think it could be helpful. It could be a misstep. It's I'm just, I'm just saying I believe, that women, I believe that women and girls are human beings. And uh, I think I'm the only nigga left who says that. The police don't agree. The society doesn't <laughs> agree. Maybe Vladimir Putin would agree with me. I don't know, and man. I just think I should explore that. Ben, I, well, I wish you the best, man, and um, take care. I got to ask some questions here today, and I have a guest coming up at the top of the hour, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and vacate the premises. All right. um, and Brian, stop procuring, an amazing father. stop procuring child porn for father. your pedophile father, father who's convicted. You never have anything else. You're going to kill yourself. Well, Brian, Brian, you're Brian your, your father is a convicted child porn connoisseur. You're not allowed to write your kids. Your dad fucking dead and raped you, bro. Yeah, well, I would want him to be dead if he was a pedophile like your dad. Dad, dad Brian, <laughs> your dad should be dead because he's a pedophile. You're gonna kill her. He's a chop off the old block. You're a chop off the old block, Brian. A chop off the old pedophile block, Brian. Stop being a pedophile. You're sick. There go. There was that segment. Suffer, Brian. I had. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.